Hello, hello everyone, welcome in. We are going again for round four, race five of the Let's Go Pokemon uh, Le uh, Eevee and Pikachu uh, tournament. We have to get it today, Yuxo, J Tattles, and Headbob racing. We got one Pico, two Eevees. Uh, I'm joined by uh, by Furus here. Hello. Uh, who's also a lovely tech uh, person today. Uh, I think it's going to be a really close race. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, now, uh, Headbob actually recently got a, a new PB of a 301.38, I think it was, uh, at GDQ, which is uh, certainly a uh, place to be getting one in the practice room. A bit uh, noisy, but hey, managed to focus up. Um, and uh, yeah. I think it's going to be a really, really interesting uh, race uh, in today. So uh, we're just, uh, runners just getting ready, the countdown has begun, so uh, they're just going to be sitting in waiting for our, uh, our time to commence. And now it's been a little while since we've had one of these, it's been a, a quick break for the GDQ. Um. Headbob is in fact a right Joy-Con uh, enjoyer. Uh, just to mention as well, Yaxo's internet is uh, still inconsistent, so we'll be guessing to see uh, whereabouts he is compared to the other two during this run. Think okay. we are off. One thing to note, actually, I just saw Yuxo changing the time while already in game. I don't believe that works. But... Uh, it does not. Yeah. So yeah, we will not have a chance with a double moonstone from Yuxo. Uh, unfortunately, if the game is open in any way, then uh, it does not allow the time to skip over. It's already determined the time upon you uh, opening the game. We have a girl one, a boy one, and a boy two. And we have two Eevees and one Pika. I like that. Yeah, a little bit of diversity between the uh, the games today. Oh, I'm just... I like it because it's more Eevees. Sorry. Oh, okay. A little bit of bias coming through there. Yeah. I'm sure you'll have a Pika bias. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Alright, so runners are gonna set up their options. Let's see who takes the lead. <laughs> it's a always very an interesting moment. time to see. See how many inputs get eaten from different runners. Ooh, head up with the late options, okay. Real gamer. Coming up to the, uh, the first motion controls, we'll see if anyone happens to get the uh, good old let's go motion control moment on the uh, on starter. I've been getting a Shoot lot of some those actually. To space. You have? I don't. Yeah, I don't really understand how those happen because I've never really had them until very recently. I don't get them uh, them too often, but yeah, I can just randomly suddenly throw balls to space. Yeah. I guess what I would be curious about is learning what motion the game is trying to detect, I guess. Like what if you wanted to do it on purpose, what you'd what would you do? 
Yeah, it'd be interesting. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you'd want to do it on purpose. Like, ideally, we're avoiding it. Yeah. It would be. It would be interesting to know. Uh, I tried to have a look at Yaxo's uh, CP. Unfortunately, it was very, very much too hard to distinguish. So we're also up in the air on what Yaxo's uh, nature could be. It could be neutral still. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't check either. We should be finding out the nature before Eevee. Well, unless one of them checks, which I don't expect yeah, anyone unless, to unless do, I, but we'll see. I forgot to ask uh, beforehand if any was, anyone had a backup save prepared. But I, uh, I don't really expect it at this point. Head Bob saying it's too early at the moment. Uh, yeah, no one's checking. Yeah, yeah, that's expected. No one's checking. We're not really uh, able to give up a little bit of. I mean, not really able to give up the time to uh, reset for a uh, for a neutral backup. Just wanted to take it and, and uh, hope for high XP in the case of a, a bad nature. It is indeed quite early. For NA people, I guess. It is quite late for you. I guess I'm really the only one on a good time zone. <laughs> yeah. The one on a normal time. It's 32 degrees for you, Phoenix. I wish. It is currently about 4 degrees here. Oh, right, because you have winter right now. Yeah, it's currently winter. This week's not been too bad, actually, but last week was about zero. <laughs> okay, Yaxo having an extra encounter on Route 1. You never want to see that. Yeah. Are we just going to catch it? No, we're just going to run. To be honest, when I run into something on Route 1, I just catch it and, and be like, alright, I that's either catch it or reset. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's very true. Unfortunately, uh, resetting isn't really viable here. If I'm not that yeah, mad, I just catch I'll it reset. Move on. <laughs> if I am furious, I'll just catch it and try to fight through it. <laughs> oh. No. JT said no. To oh, I, back I to completely missed that. That's interesting. That wastes like about. I'm hopping a ledge in the corner of my screen. I think it's about thirty seconds. You lose. It's about that, yeah. I did that only one time in my life, and it was after coming back I to have the game. Thankfully, never done it before, but I think that's the first time we've seen it this <laughs> tournament. I know uh, the last tournament maybe. we saw it once. I do remember seeing this. I don't remember if it was last year or this year, but I do remember seeing Eternity Race. Last this. year, I last year I believe told you guys said no. Ooh, that's all right. It's only thirty seconds. Yeah, easy. So we have the first rival fight, <clears throat> which for Eevee... That was a decent first roll from Head Bob, right? Uh, yeah, it looked okay. I think that was a three shot. Yeah, the three shot. Which is a good indicator. First roll, was, um, first roll was just under half, so it doesn't really indicate plus attack, but yeah, it's at least neutral. For Pika, usually you're going to get a four shot. Yeah, in general it's a four shot. Even though half the time with crits, it's also a four shot regardless. Yeah. Unfortunately, just how the way uh, damage rolls happen. Yeah, Pika is actually about to find out the nature on the next fight, while Eevee will have to wait a little longer for the fight, the first fight in the forest. And Headbob now runs into... Okay, they're all even now. Oh, he's catching it, okay. Ooh. Yeah, I, I would just catch a it, bit of a troll. I don't know if waiting there makes sense. I'm guessing this is this has a new modifier. 
It does have a new modifier, so, I just throw. Like, probably, the, the yeah. XP doesn't matter at all. I just throw immediately, unless it's, like, already jumping as soon as you've started, like, the, the encounter. Yeah. It doesn't matter what circle you get on this. It, the XP really doesn't matter. And we're going to attempt to determine what Yaxo's stats are. It will depend or... on, on the internet. I think Yaxo just one shot this thing. I think I was crit, I guess. It would win a crit, yeah. Ah, uh, that looked uh, grainy. It was but... minus, uh, minus speed, I believe. I didn't see what the plus was. It looked like 18 Had... speed, so I believe it's, it's minus speed plus something. Which shouldn't matter too much. Quiet. Okay, quiet. That's actually, actually pretty decent. So that is plus special attack. Yeah. Minus speed shouldn't really matter too much for Pika. There's only one there fight is... where it. Yeah. There's only matters. one singular goal bat that can outspeed you. Yeah. And it's not even that bad. It, it really doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Even if P even if Pika takes the damage there, as long as you have full health before that. Yeah. You still Unless it always crits or something, but still. So, yeah, you're really risking crits at all, and that's it. Have I running into a rat as well? Oh, okay. I don't think two seeing makes sense, but okay. This also he has might just a, be new, after a new whatever. Medifier. Like this is just Pidgey and Rat already, so it means that when when he gets his, uh, he's really just looking for, to try and hit level ten, ideally. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes so sense. So he's just yeah, you don't have a whole lot of options at that point. Yeah, especially because Rat's getting is whatever just, experience. You already out. have those two. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you just you're just a little bit limited now. I think I saw fifteen and fourteen for the duties attack and I special attack. So I think he's looking okay there. And so we have one more, one more stats to try and catch. Actually, going to pay attention this time. You see, I always say that and then I end up getting distracted by something else. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine this time. I'm sure nothing crazy will happen. Although, we're not going to see the stats actually because he's level 7 already. Ooh, good point. I mean, we'll see it maybe... No, probably not. Nope. Yeah, we'll just have to get lucky. Good. Catch it at, uh, at double kick, I think. Yeah, we could. We can definitely see it at double kick. Ooh, okay. JT going for a Pika. I'm not sure Very I like nice this play. Uh, extra catch. Ooh, one C and it's level also six level as well. six, which is pretty scary. We also right, get into a pretty uh, annoying attack cycle as well. We'll see. I mean, if it just gets okay, in, then no problem. Yep, easy. Yeah, one C Pikachu is always a little scary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, especially if it's a high level, like level six, which is the highest it could be without so the lure. I don't uh, think that was quiet. I don't think I don't think that was quiet. I think that was plus special defense. I think that's the sassy Pika. Oh, okay. I was a little yeah, so. confused by that one because it didn't look like special attack was that good when I looked at the stats. But again, like I it's, just saw red on the, the bottom greedy. left, so I'm like, I think that's my that's plus special special defense instead. Yeah. So it might have just been a special attack AV. Ooh, okay. I suppose special defense could help in a couple of fights. I mean, if you it's don't not ideal, hit but the it's... misty range, I guess. Yeah. 
I don't know. J and J fights. JJ fights are always a little scary. So Headbob actually got also the Pika. Uh, so I'm gonna remove all of the pokes in his party. Yep. Because they don't want to keep nice, all those pokes uh, that are on their levels. Because they're gonna get a bunch. Oh, oh, a frick! And frick! Okay, that actually. Okay, this this makes That's sense. That's actually very helpful. That's yeah. very helpful. That's for, very helpful, uh, and I think it makes here. sense. You waited for something else to spawn because that frick yeah, is gonna be. Really bad to catch that, one C. That is a lured frick. Yeah. And even with two C, it's not guaranteed to go in. So, definitely a good play, I would say. But he definitely wants to go for frick here because of the level. I guess technically he's probably still fine for 10. But it is, like, it's glowing as well. It's gonna be good EXP, probably. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, a little late. Ooh, it's light delay on the throw. Yeah. Okay, got in. Right, it's just so. that easy. Just staying. Just staying. Okay, something is going on with Fed Bob's motion controls. <laughs> one C had one C on the Okay, that, that just gets in, okay. I just yeah, we're just that everything's works. staying in. Yep. Maybe just trying to save some Pokeballs. I'm getting to see the nature of a head bob here. Neutral. Okay. It is runnable. Which is really all you want. For a race, at least. I still didn't figure out the nature for JT, I think. Yeah, I think we missed that one. And JT already yeah. has double kick, unfortunately, so... We're gonna have to wait for headbutt, I guess. Okay, JT's yeah, saying neutral. Try and remember okay. to pay attention to neutral, okay. Okay, okay so we've got so, three, three runnable starters here. Yeah. Two neutral EVs and a... Sassy Pikachu. Yeah. I think Edbob had two attack AVs there as well already. That's good. Okay, that should be the last catch for Headbob. Meanwhile, Yaxo is already at Brock, which is pretty standard, I would say, for Pika, because generally going to be faster to get here. And it's going to be faster with the fights. Yeah, the fight's absolutely a lot faster. So Pika usually uses Oddish, and Oddish just basically stream steamrolls through this fight. Um, generally it's going to take either two or three turns, unless you get a little unlucky or you have a bad Oddish. I actually don't know, I can't, can't even tell, uh, but I'm guessing that's a level 9 or 10 or something. The picture is so grainy. <laughs> Okay, the flinch is a little unfortunate. Oh, the flinch is unlucky, yeah. Okay, we're good now. I have had it flinch me three times in a row and kill me. Oof. On this fight, it's That's incredibly BDSP rough when it happens. Moments. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, Yaxa should be done with Brock here. And JT's heading there now. Uh, for Eevee, the fight is a little different. Because Bellsprout is not really as good as Oddish for it, so we just end up using Eevee itself uh, with Double Kick, which is why we need Double Kick. Um, we need level 10 basically before Brock just to get that Double Kick. Uh, and it still takes a little longer. Um, we need two turns for the Geodude and three turns for the Onyx. 
in general. Yeah, and double kick as a move is just generally slower than, uh, than absorb it, yeah. as well. But at least they have neutral EVs. With minus attack, this would be much worse. Yeah, it turns a 5 turn fight into a 7 turn fight. Yeah. We can see standard shopping from Yaxo from the look of it. Being 8 Great Balls, an X Defend, an X Special Attack, an X Attack. And then just some uh, status heals. Oh, getting a little lost there. Okay. JT is level 12, which is pretty nice. Getting the early experience. Head buff, on the which other hand, is only might have level been 10. A, uh, a wombo catch at some point. Yeah, probably. Head buff is only now getting level 11, um, which means it's gonna have a little bit of a rougher time. In Moon, trying to get experience. Catches are going to be much more important there, uh, because we are trying to get to level 15 before we get to Cerulean. And Yaxo so getting a, another optional, or an optional catch of, of his own. Can't catch Pikachu and Pikachu, because we've already got one of them. So instead we are, uh, we get Mankey and Sandra on this route. Coming into uh, probably one of, one of the most important uh, catching sections, just for purely early experience. Yeah. Especially with the uh, the option to catch two other giant pink blobs that might spawn for us. Pink blobs are a scam. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're gonna have sheep joining us in a bit. Which is great. Got... Yeah, so getting the outrage spending the outrageous five hundred uh, dollars on a uh, on a magic up. Well, that's amusing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I I pay I I paid five hundred bucks for a magic up that can turn into a Gyarados. So it doesn't look like there was any Ekans for JT. Mm. We'll see about Headbob. I mean, JT could still have one here. Looking for it, okay. Um, nope, wrong, wrong purple thing. Yep. That's a Spiro. Yeah, doesn't look like any snakes today. Doesn't look like there's going to be any snakes before Mount Moon. Yep. It's a little unfortunate also for Headbop, just from experience perspective. Okay, yeah, running into a spear though, I wonder options. if it's going to catch it. Okay, yes. Yes, okay. Which means Firo is on the table. I don't think it is. <laughs> it would be if for me. We can have a look. See, see, see what Headbop decides to mark. Oh yes, unmarked. Fear has been unmarked. It has been unmarked. Yeah. Thank, I thankfully, am it has been my unmarked. Fear is not an option. It could still be if things go bad. I mean, if things get really bad by that point, then I guess so. Yeah. Yes. Everything's an option under the right circumstances.
So Yaxo doing the Stancher fight before heading down. Uh, this is pretty standard um, with Pika. Yeah, it just makes moving around Pokemon a little uh, cleaner. Yeah. Because you will need to have... You kind of need Oddish for the Sancho, uh, but you need Pika afterwards. So you just basically uh, save a menu. You know what we forgot to do? If we weren't paying attention to I, yeah. JT's uh, EV stats, that headbutt. I was actually trying to look at Yaxos again, but I didn't make it in time. It's okay, I'm sure they'll... I mean, they have like three moves. Or at least JT has like we'll, three we'll moves. Have, we'll have time. Yeah. We'll have time and surely. And surely we'll pick up one of the three moves. Surely. Alright, so Yaxo catching his Zubat. I guess probably the Zubat just ran into him. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like JT is getting Zubat Cave as well. Yep, the classic. Okay, JT getting Zubat. I believe cycle. we have. We have a sheep here to join us. Meh. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Hello, everyone. How's the race so far? It's good, I think. Uh, it's it's good. We um, JT might have said no to being teleported back to uh, to to the lab. Yep. Interesting. That might have happened. Headbop might have caught Pidgey and Rattata before Forest. And Spiro before tunnel. And yep. then Spiro after, yep. Headbob just doing no evils. Maybe. I do believe I mean, he has evolved the bugs, so yeah. unfortunately in Valorant. I'll still allow it if, yeah. if he catches other things. I mean, he has, he has 52 <laughs> plants, so maybe he doesn't count those. Okay, Yaxo mentioning a shiny, I didn't actually see it. Hopefully it's still there after he catches this Geodude. Missing. Oh, miss the cycle though. Yeah. Potentially a little bit of, of delay on the Joy Cons. What kind of shiny is it? I'm guessing it's going to be a Zubat. It has to. It's always a Zubat. It's always a Zubat. It's always yeah. a Zubat. And it, it was on a Zubat catch change, so surely it's a Zubat. Let's see. Two shinies. My last my AOP attempt I did uh, on the weekend. I did in fact get a shiny Psyduck that I had to repel away when I was looking for Eevees. Oh, it's a Geo though. Okay. Geo dude. Why did he it's not a catch dude. it? Boo. Boo. <laughs> he's already in the lead. He saw the shiny before he caught the the Geo that he just caught, which means he could have gone for the shiny. I am very disappointed. Now we now we went for some pixels. Yep. <laughs> I think that's going to be a lot of what uh, what Yakko is going to be doing at the moment. Right, so Yakso, I'm guessing didn't get double moonstone because he messed up the like the time. Yeah, thing because his game beginning. was open, he wouldn't have had the uh, had the option, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know about the other two. JT, I guess, is already through the the room. It's actually pretty fast. I guess JT just didn't find much down there. Although I guess he still has to do this fight, so... Alright, Headbop getting a Moonstone. I'm guessing that's the yeah, first. Yeah, JT's still looking for Paris. Yeah, but if you just have the Clefairy and Geodude, it's often... fine. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Paris EXP isn't a big... Uh... A big thing. All right, so head Bob just got Chiodude. And Paris, it's still level 13, so he's gonna want to see the Clefairy. He's gonna definitely want that, that Clefairy at this point. Especially after catching Spiro already as well, he's very limited in what he can catch uh, outside of Mount Moon. Yeah, basically just Snake and yeah. I guess Psyduck. At, at this EXP, or like, Char. 
Onyx. And at this level, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be lured because he is close enough. Yeah. But yeah, Clefairy ESP is very important. Just have one directly spawn in front of you. Easy. It's a skill game. Ooh. They all three had a Clefairy on screen at the same time. So gonna miss the first ball experience, but this should still get him to 15 going for the by the end of still the, the correct ball. Yeah. Once Clefairy starts jumping around, it becomes a real pain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it should be fine to get 15 before um, Misty. We'll be interested to see if he keeps Bulber in the party. Keeps frickin' the party. I think he's planning on it. It's only three levels as well. Yeah. I think I think it makes sense to keep, especially after you already are potentially missing on Firo and stuff like that. Like Yeah, very if true. You have as a well. chance to get very just an extra <clears throat> Okay, there is an Ocne an Onyx for Yaxo. It's an Onyx a very on weird directly spot. on top of Yaxo. Yep. <laughs> okay, going for it. Great. So for Onyx. I mean it's not lured, Ooh. so it's probably okay. fine. It's just like hard That's to get. It's a great cloak though. Well. It's not double grades. I don't know what the catch rate is on this thing. But it gets in. Let's go. It was 100% catch rate, apparently. Yes. Don't think that's true. He caught it 100% of the time, so... I think that's how statistics work. Should be. If it was lured, it would be about a 45%. Yeah. Alright, so JT heading into the first J and J fight. Which is pretty standard. Unlike later J and J fights. I mean you could argue that this one is like the least standard. Because the second and third are basically clones of each other. That is true, although you do have a fourth one. Yeah. Which there is also a and there is also a fifth one, I believe, uh, in both games. There is a fifth one. Yep. You, you technically no category actually does it, I believe, but well, actually, yeah, even I red. think round two maybe does it. I don't remember if you have to do it on round two. The league rematch doesn't. No, you don't have to. Okay. Do yeah, and, and red percent doesn't. Okay, so it's just there, just to be there. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's on um, it's on the Pokemon Lake. Yeah. I believe. I'm kinda curious to see what the what the Pokemon are on that fight now. I am not sure actually. It's probably just the same thing, I guess, just higher levels. I don't know. Like what what could they possibly say, yeah. change? Alright, so JT out of Moon. Pretty good time, actually. Around 32 minutes with 12 folks, which is pretty, right. pretty solid. You're going to be very surprised about what they have. Uh, it is an Arbok and a Weezing. Ooh, I did not expect that. Level 52. Okay. Yes. I don't think the moveset changed at all. It did not. I mean, the, the the tower one is already pretty. Has already has a pretty good move set. Right, so GT got a Nekans, which is a nice bonus to have there. I was gonna teach the three moves. JT may have gotten Ekans, but Head Bob won Hangman, so. Who's really winning? 
Oh, that means that puppet's gonna get a Squirtle. Although it is it does, not another bridge it? yet. It's always, always happened, 100%. Yes. So Headbub actually has a lot of catches. 17 exiting Moon is a little bonkers, but yeah. I get, it's expected, I guess, given what he had to go through. Especially Rot 1, but... Not really a number you usually see exiting Moon. Yeah, so I normally expect to see somewhere around 13 to 15, so 17 is quite a bit. For the coughing first. That's bull. Yeah, and didn't get the range. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. And then a uh, miss menu. Yeah. Should be fine now. Should kill it here. Or kill both, I guess. And a sand tree for Yaxo. Okay, so I got both bonuses. The monkey before Mount Moon. And now the shrew, and that's a motion control and moment. That's, yep. Ooh, unlucky. Okay, that's an excellent. I don't believe this is guaranteed on this route. Uh, I don't think so. I think it is guaranteed before Mount Moon. I don't think it's quite guaranteed here, but it's very close. It's like 90, I don't know. I would have to check. About 92, I think, if it's max level. Yeah. Okay, so Hezbob not getting an Ekans, that's unfortunate, but he is level 15, so he shouldn't have a problem here with getting into Misty. He has a high catch count, but his experience is not that great, I guess. Mostly because the high catch count is due to pokes that are not really stuff you generally catch, or mostly just stuff that ran into him. Yeah, he, uh, Headbob has such a high catch count because of uh, hit Bird and Rat on Route 1, and then uh, catching Spiro on the way to Mount Moon as well. Yeah. Just taking away some catches from later on. Right, so Headbob teaching the three moves Bouncy Bubble, Buzzy Buzz, and Sizzly Slide. Which are only available for this EV. And Yaxo actually taught Zippy Zap, which is also only available for Pika. Or for this Pika. And now they're all in, in Misty's gym. JT is already done with Misty. JT actually on pretty good pace, I would say. So far. Hey, Doing pretty well so far, especially considering that you lost about 30 seconds. Exactly. To, uh, I was, it's it's actually interesting. Because <laughs> I was like, when he was exiting Moon, um, at 32 minutes, with like 12 catches, I was like, you know, he's like only 30 seconds behind what I would want to be in a good run. And I completely forgot about that, so. Probably like a really good run so far, aside from that one mistake. Basically, he hasn't had much much else bad happen, yeah. Yeah. We might be onto something, Gavin. Yeah, it's a good minute. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's> RNG <laughs> minute. <laughs> I can barely yeah, see it. I think Yaxo is level 16, right? So this should be pretty good range. Okay. Oh, good crit. Yeah, very Check. useful crit. Very lucky. Yeah. Okay, there's the 17 now. Who's 37? So I was guaranteed. Who's 39 now? Yeah. Which is not great. <laughs> it's not. No. It'll do, but it's not great. Yeah, I would say this is still like a very close. I'm I'm not sure who's actually ahead at this moment. I would or say GT is ahead. 
but um, it's not as significant of a lead as it may look like, I guess. Because of the catches, but still, I would say, yeah. Because JT is, like, I think the only thing that went wrong so far has been the say no to the marked person. I would say Sli Yaxo is slightly ahead of Edval, but not by that much, I guess. Yeah, they look like to be all like within a minute or something of each other. Yeah. They were quite close together, yeah. Let's see if they can all keep that up. Like me and uh, I'll be in my race so yesterday where I lost for, uh, with the, like, I lost with a second or lost by a second. You want races like that? Tight and exciting. Yep. So welcome to Nugget Bridge, the most exciting part of the run. Yep, there's a lot happening right now, as can be seen. There's, uh, yep, yep, yep. I'm just waiting for the squirtle. It is believed that if you win Hangman, you will get a squirtle. Yeah, if you're one of the runners. Yeah, if you are one of the runners. I'm a bit sad it's the second Pokemon Speedrunners one, where it's like a list of, what, four years ago. Etiquette just giving away yeah, the answer Yeah, Etiquette just giving in. away the answer. I was like, wait, how did Etiquette not win? And then I noticed they actually didn't type the, the command. Ed Etiquette you said for years that you would bring back Hangman and you never did, so now don't complain if someone else did it. <laughs> hey, you, you've been saying bring back Golden Rope games for like six years now, Etiquette, so you have the skill. Maybe not the time, but... One of these days I will get Metronome Faint. Can you get it in game? I don't think No, I, I run Pika. Are... Unfortunately, I run Pika. No, I mean, you I can still get Metronome if work. you don't get a Needle. No, no, those those ones get reset. Ooh, okay, that's fair. No squirtle for JT. Expected. No hangman win. We're almost there, chat. Only a couple more. We're trainers. almost out. We're almost, <laughs> we're almost out of it. We're almost to the good part. The good part, where we're dodging two trainers, fight one more trainer, and then have two cutscenes. And I have to run around looking for Growlits. And, kiss, and get kissed by Rival. True. No, no, Rival's just doing a magic trick. That's all that's happening. So, JT is now entering Bill's house, and if you look to the right here, 
in this cutscene. You see a couch with a pillow and a blanket. I think he sleeps there. I'm pretty sure he sleeps there. Like, you can only see it in that one, like, turn to the corner, but yeah. it's very, like... <laughs> it's a nice little detail. I mean, I'm sure they no... put it there like that, just for, like, oh, yeah, he sleeps here. <laughs> I mean, this is supposedly his house, so he's gonna sleep somewhere. No ditch, Bill. Uh, Checking my head. I hope someone. Uh, What's the current? I, I, I don't know what what the fastest time it, is it's right not, now. It, it's it's not me anymore. I think it's Iron, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the real tournament. It's the ditch secret. It's tournament. the secret ditch build tournament inside the normal <laughs> tournament. No squirtle for headbob yet. Still got a squirtle later. Yeah, he'll get it on the way back. Yeah, there's a the squirtle for JT. Oh no! It ran off. Yeah, JT's on a pretty good run, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, very good run. Again, I think it's like 30 seconds behind what I would want to be. And it's basically because of the <laughs> saying no to the Mark person. But I mean, if JT wins this race, then 100% of the people who said no win their race. So maybe it is do the they? correct strat to do. We were actually or wondering it a about win percentage. We were like wondering about that earlier. Like, did anyone else say no? I think someone did it last year. Yeah. Yeah, last year, I think I did. Yeah. In 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 round one, but I don't so think no anyone one this else year. Did. Okay. I feel like so yeah, like, if JT wins, then uh, it's a hundred percent win rate. So clearly, like the it's not that... uh, optimal option. I feel like it's not that hard of a mistake to make uh, if you're like learning the game. So I wouldn't be surprised if it happened on one of the newer runners at the beginning, I don't know. So you're saying JT is still new and learning the game? Yes. Or... Get good JT. That's okay, I actually did the same mistake not, not that long ago. I don't think I've ever said yeah. no, but... I did it once. There's... It means there's still uh, there's still room for uh, for me. I haven't learned that lesson yet. All right, let's see if we get a squirtle on the way back for Headbob. Surely. I think Headbob had one last year also on the way back. I think it was Headbob. Mm. Sounds Ooh, like nothing. the type of thing for Headbob to have. Yep. It does. Uh, insert obligatory uh, detect Pikachu remark here. Ooh, okay. Have you played Detective Pikachu? I have not. I've never Do played. Do you Etiquette has done some some speedruns? I've watched Etiquette, Etiquette speedrun it, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the speedruns from Etiquette, I guess. Don't know much else about it. Oh, that's all I know as well. <laughs> Alright, so JT is in Route 6 now, looking for none of those things. Okay, there's an Abra. Abra? Abra, that's nice. Catching a rat? Okay, interesting. There's a rat here. I don't think I would go for it, but... Yeah, rat here is three levels to evolve, but uh, I mean, he might just be planning to get Eradicate, which is uh, really good EXP, so it's fair enough. Yeah, but I mean, it's probably going for the Abra. Um, or at least I would assume so. Means the rat is gonna get some levels. Or one level. At least. Oh, maybe going for it because of EXP? I don't know. Because it's just now it getting It could 18. be. He might be wanting to hit that level 19. Yeah. 
So with 18 is a little shaky on rival. And I think the, the mo by the way, the most important part for Detective Pikachu to know, like, about the speedrun is Tim! Tim! Because Pikachu keeps oh, shouting that no. in the basement. <laughs> what was that? Standard standard Joy-Con moment? You heat the balls to space? <laughs> That's gonna be costly ex in terms of experience. Because now it's the second ball. I, think you I should don't know if this gets 19. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't think it would have either. Uh, yeah, have the maybe. full experience either, not quite. Yeah. <coughs> right, let's see if Yaxo can get a puppy. Okay, gets the skip, JT. Let's go. Nice, very nice skip. Okay, no puppy yet for Axel. So gonna get the rare candy. And Axel is very much wanting to get that Growlithe. It's a uh, very important Growlithe for Abra. There it is. There's two Ooh, of them. There's two of them. Meanwhile, Headbub also entering Route 6. Headbub is, Headbub is not looking for a puppy. Yeah. I was just looking for the standard Vulpix. He could be looking for a puppy, but I think he might be looking for a little while. <laughs> oh, Breakout. Also Abra. And it's trying to run away. Okay, okay, this should get in. <laughs> <laughs> Growlithe is trying to run away. Growlithe, Growlithe has chosen violence. <laughs> Otherwise, there's already a second one on screen, so it would be okay. Like, it would be time loss, but at least you're not like. It is pretty amusing one. to see two Abras on the EV side. <laughs> when Abra could actually be pretty useful on the Pika side. It's very useful on Pika. It's very it's useful on, bit. on EV side. It's, it's a like little bit stronger than Growlithe, so... Oh, there's, a, there's an Abra as well! Ooh, there's an Abra so. as well! 3-3! Three, three. What is that? Okay. It's okay, the Jingle Puff attack, anyway, so I guess. it's whatever. Okay, head up getting a Vulpix. Another pretty standard catch here for Eevee. And meanwhile, JT is on the boat, talking to a rival, and Blue suddenly shows up. Okay, there's the Ivy Surfer head bob. Axel also going for a rat here. JT about to start the boat rival fight, uh, which I'm not really sure. I guess it's still like level 18. Uh, level, level 18, 18 can be a little. Just hoping... Yeah. It de like yeah, at level 18, you could that's... potentially be outsped, uh, depending on what your speed is looking like, which I didn't really see it. You could also I miss the range on the Pidgeotto. Two AVs? I believe uh, the Pichiodo can also uh, be a range, and also the... I think the Pika is also a range, uh, potentially. Yeah, depending, depending on... I think it's a range at 18. If he had two, then depending on where you got them, like, if he got a third already... Okay, he did get out speed. Speed. Yeah. Um, yeah. but it's fine. Bellsprout dies, but that's okay, it's much better than Sand Attack. So yeah, yeah much, probably, much ideal, this probably honestly. explains why he was trying to get the rat. Um, But it's fine. Getting sand attack would be much worse. The bell sprout dying is not too consequential. Um, you can revive that. Okay. I didn't mention it, but head bobs uh, round six skip was certainly something. Oh, okay. It was. Yeah, I mean. I was very worried. <laughs> was it as scary as Hedekut skips, or...? It, it was significantly less confident than Hedekut skips. Okay, okay. 
I'll have to catch that later. Yeah, JT threw the rival fights with five less catches than his opponents. Yeah, both Headbob and Yaxo going in to boat rival with 20 catches, which is pretty high, to be honest. <laughs> Sandy's hit the nail on the head. <laughs> Headbob's Route 6 skip was in Morse code. <laughs> okay, Headbob saying what is, that is what I always do, that's... That is so, so scary to watch. <laughs> Yeah, Yaxo and uh, Hebob now on the same catch count, so assuming there's been no changes to Yaxo's uh, delay, then uh, Hebob is slightly ahead. Yeah. Here, I, I, I made a clip and posted it. They are mostly insane. For people who are curious. So. Yeah, I want to see this clip. Uh, I feel like I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen worse skips, I think. I don't. I, I can't say I approve of that strategy, <laughs> but I've certainly seen it. I just imagine at that point, like the lure running out when you're doing that type yeah, of movement. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that would completely ruin it. <laughs> Like, at least if you're holding, like, a single direction, you're like, I'm going for it if the lure runs out, I just have to, like, press A and you're going fine. Oh, it, I think Headbob got some sand in his eyes. Ooh, okay. That is unfortunate. Uh, that's... Okay, he was 18, I guess, for the Pidgeotto and got a level up now. Uh, because at 19, he would have at least... Two speed tight. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, then yeah. you can still lose uh, sand. Yeah, that's true. Speed time. So hopefully he hits here. Yeah. So not too bad, I guess. Right. He just missed once. Yeah. I think JT caught something? What did JT catch? Uh, I think it was probably a ball picks? Because Randall is saying JT going for kicks by Koga, that makes me wonder if he went yeah, into Diglett low Cave catch and got a Diglett. <laughs> or no. I think it was a Jigglypuff. Okay. Yeah, it was a Puff. Scared me for a second. Okay, so Headbop gets Cadabra there. Which means it's gonna have a pretty big deposit, I guess, now. He also has Ivysaur, I believe, still. And I guess... I don't know if he got Jigglypuff, but yeah. Gotta be depositing before Alicia. Midbob did not get Jigglypuff and has actually unmarked it. Okay. He's been getting okay bonuses. So sadly, I don't think the Fearow catch is going to happen, but oh well. Yeah, his catch out isn't do? too bad yet. There's still Tentacle available as well that he doesn't know. He's JT could theory, be catching so. Fearow. He did before. Please, JT, please don't. It's good. It, it is not. It is a good catch. Fearow is not as bad as you would think, strangely enough. Alright, let's see the skip for Yaxo on the way up. Lining it up with the tiles. And doing actually perfect movement there. I suspect he's using notches. Yeah, he had some very crisp movement earlier as well, where like... Or maybe he is that good. It is not easy to go on a straight line in this game sometimes.
Yeah, which is me, but I'm pretty sure it's not just you. Yeah. Let's see, head bob. Yeah, head bob doing the standard shaky movement on the way up. That's head bob clearly not using having notches. Yeah. <laughs> that looks more like also my not having kind to of do skip. the not having to do not having to do the skip in Morse code either this time. Yeah, I am disappointed. I could have put a like a pause there for the fans. Yeah. Right, so Yaxo heading to Route 9, which is where JT is already at, and Headbob is heading there. This route is much harder with the Pika version, because you have to rely on your Growlithe, which if it sucks then this route is gonna be a little miserable, but hopefully that is not the case. Yeah, you, you don't want to get outspat here with your Growlithe. I don't know what level Growlithe is here. Speed doesn't matter too much is for that Growlithe. that 18? That looks 18. The real worry is not being 18 for the sand trunes yeah, in the range. I think that's 18 already, which then is it's... pretty good. I think if you have <coughs> yeah, minimum 18 speed... 18 guarantees it pretty much. I think if you have minimum speed on the Growlithe, you get outspat. By the sand yes, that is correct. And there's just the ranges, which are pretty bad. I mean, they're not really that bad, but I feel like they are pretty bad when I when I use Growlithe. I feel like I miss the ranges on both of those more often than not. Which Meanwhile, is why... Pikachu is or Eevee version is just yeah, right. exactly. Oh. It's what I was about to say. Eevee is just superior. JT getting some status lag there. That is unfortunate. Yeah, this first Radicate, we have like two Radicates here. One before this next catching section and one after. And the first one is like pretty bulky oh and like hard to kill in two hits. There's, There's a zero. zero. <laughs> don't do it. No, <laughs> don't do it, JT. It's glowing as well. Did you unmark, unmark Spearow already? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to unmark Spearow. You can catch Firo and Spearow. There's no reason to not catch both. But you ha if you have to choose one, then definitely go for Firo. Running into a rat, still looking for other things, namely the Nido or the other Nido. Potentially a Krabby. Okay, there's a Nido. So only missing Spiro and Krabby. And Bussy goes for the Firo. Had Bob, had Bob having some bad luck with the the rotators there. You also see the runners here waiting a bit to get some more spawns before they actually like catch something, even if the first thing they see is something they want. Spear spawn, so JT's only missing crab from here if he uh, wants to wait around for it. I think we'll probably be heading on after this. Yeah, and I think sadly the Fero flew off. The Fero got repelled. The Fero got actively told to leave. <laughs> okay, big rat. 
that is pretty good for experience here. Yeah, it's really nice to get here. Yeah, and where with the other Pokémon here, you can sometimes see them just like throw quickly to get them in the early cycle or whatever. On things like the Radicate that actually gives quite a lot of EXP, you will see them wait for an attack to time it. Yeah, it's all 1200 experience. Definitely want to wait and guarantee it. The evolving stage of uh, everyone's journeys here. This is the largest catch uh, segment of the game, so we're really looking to uh, just flesh out all those catch routes, guarantee that the, um, we're able to hit the 50. Let's see how many risky catches we have to go for in, in, the, uh, in the later game. I'd say JT is like on a really like typical catch route. Yeah. With what's left. Yeah, it's looking pretty pretty standard, yeah. Hasn't had to resort to marking tentacle yet, so <clears throat> that's nice as well. Yeah, I think he's looking just uh, a little bit ahead of Yaxo and Headbub at the moment. Yeah, it's all really close together now. Yeah. Did he go for the great balls here? Yeah, that makes sense. He still has to catch a few things, I would say. It's not like head of Oryoxo, which have instant Rhyhorn. Yeah, JT, instant Rhyhorn is pretty, pretty nice. And a glowing yeah, chop as well. And I think uh, Cubone above yeah. the Rhyhorn. Okay. So, like, a perfect start to your tunnel. Yeah. All you need is a Zubat. Runners actually look pretty even at the moment. They're all going for the great ball. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be fun to try and work out what Yakto is catching at any point. In There's time a Kanga. Seeing. There's a Kanga. Oh. I think. I think. Headbob should go for it. I think her Bob can manage without it. Nah, it, it'll it'll be necessary, I believe. I'm I'm sure he can, but I'm sure there's nothing gonna, gonna be spawning later, so should honestly just go for it and ride it. Oh, skipping. Okay. I'm very disappointed at Havok today. 
very happy to have Bob is skipping Kango. <laughs> Alright, GT getting the Cubone. Yaxo got something, I don't know what exactly. But getting some Evos as well. Yaxo gonna be using that Neo. Uh, I believe it was a Cubone. So head bobs in the leaves. Yep. Head bob wins. There's an onyx. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, there's a matchup. Still no right horn. I I do say with with Yexo with all the pixels we can really play who's that Pokemon. Yes. Yeah, it's the perfect place to do it as well. <laughs> There's a Machop now. So Yaks are already at 30, which is kind of crazy <laughs> at the beginning of Tunnel, basically. A lot of it due to evolutions, I guess, but... Still pretty crazy. It does not have a right horn yet. And neither does head pop. Okay, there's a graveler for head bob. Right horn is gonna it's gonna be a little more important on Eevee. Because on Pika you can just use Arcanine later. Yeah, there is uh, fight strats that uh, benefit greatly from having a uh, Raihorn available in uh, both games. That is true, yeah. Alright, that's an Onyx. I can tell that's an Onyx. Yeah, and there's a Graveler. Are you sure that's an Onyx? Pretty Might sure. be a Weedle. Could be a Weedle. Super sized Weedle. A super, yeah, <laughs> super sized super -sized Weedle, Weedle, yeah. Ooh, okay, missing. Oh, Yaxo missing the, the cycle, yeah. That will uh, hurt on the XP. Ooh, that's a breakout. Punished. Okay. That will also hurt on the XP. Okay, gets the excellent this time. No Rast, though, so this is not guaranteed. Should be pretty favorable still. Still on 90%, I believe, without the rounds. Eighty, 87% without the rounds. Yeah. I believe you like to go for no Raz. I go Razless, yeah. Yeah. And I've I been punished on that far one. too many times in races. Okay, glowing Graveler for JT, that's pretty good. JT having a really solid uh, catch rod so far, to be honest. He's not exactly high on catches, uh, but everything just sort of spawning. Yeah, already level okay. 27. Yeah, so probably gonna have, yeah, definitely gonna have double edge for a lot of fights, which can be pretty useful. Still no high horn for Yaxo or Headbob. If only Headbob had called the Kangaskhan. Yep, could be riding it. It is definitely faster than walking, huh? I guess I could have caught the Onyx as well. If I saw if I saw one. I can also ride that. 
Very true, yeah. It's not gonna speed you up at all. You but... can ride it. <laughs> yeah. It won't do much, but you can ride it. Right, so they're all in the same fight. With similar catch count, JT is slightly behind on catches, but still. Very close and also has Rhyhorn. So JT probably ahead at the point at the moment. That is a go bat. Please do not catch that. Thank you. Oh, but there is a Rhyhorn, okay. Interesting. So, Yaxo getting the Rhyhorn. Yaxo, yeah, I'm just ahead bubble that one now. Okay, head bubble did not get burned, thankfully. Hopefully, he'll be fine on the Cadabra here. He will be out of bed, which means he's gonna have to tank a Psybeam. Can just not get confused, please? Thank you. Okay. So yeah, Headlock really just looking for the Rhyhorn. And actually, maybe something else. It's only 25, that's a little low. Yeah, it doesn't have Cubone either. Already has Machop, already has Golbat actually, and Graveler, so... Yeah, it's a little unfortunate that it's not getting a Rhyhorn. For multiple reasons, obviously you wanted to ride, but like Aspect was saying earlier, you also wanted for some of the fights. Yeah, and also like still being a low level. Yeah, Rhyhorn would also help doubly with punished. experience. Because level 25 is a little awkward. I believe at 25 you are guaranteed to speed tie the Pidgeotto here. I don't actually remember. I don't I'm not usually this low level. Going into tower. Yes. I'm like at least twenty-six and even that's a low. Yeah. Especially like thirty. I do you remember are guaranteed back to speed from like, tie at twenty five, yes. Yeah, I think like back from like when I was learning the game, it was one of the things like you wanna be at least twenty five. At the end of tunnel. Yeah, twenty five is twenty five is definitely Wait, at least. Charmander a speed for Yaxa? Oh, good job. Okay, so no Rhyhorn for Headbob. Very unfortunate. Rhyhorn, no Cubone, but there is still the oh. chance of Cow Cubone. I don't know what Headbob has in slot two, but usually you do this fight, this next fight with Rhyhorn. If you don't have Rhyhorn, then you're gonna want to put something else, most likely Graveler. I don't know if Headbob has Graveler in slot two yet. Probably not. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'd expect not. Uh, might might go to Nido King. Yeah, maybe he has Nido King. Um, I don't know. I see he has Nido King marked. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's probably the play, I guess. Then. Yeah, because we're running into another Golbat. Yeah, I I tried to suggest earlier, like, could we can we just ban whilst Golbats from the game? I, I understand that. I would like, prefer to ban Zubat. But... No, but at least Zubat is like somewhat useful. You can catch it and like. Okay, I would it. prefer to to ban Moon Zubat. Okay, Machop is in slot two, by the way, um, which I guess also works. And he got uh, sanded. Okay, I didn't actually check who got the sand, but there was a sand. Didn't see who it went on to. Yeah. Yeah. So, <coughs> I guess... it was Machop that currently has sand in his eyes. It's actually really unfortunate. So he was a speed tie, probably because no EVs, and he missed the speed tie. Okay, it was on the EV. It That's was EV really with the sand! Um, this is fine though, if it kills here. Machop's yeah, Machop go, dies, yeah, but it's... Build, yeah. If it hits here, it's fine. Okay. Now he's also at plus four. Yeah, so he gets I mean, it doesn't really there. matter, I guess. This would always die at plus two anyway. 
Oh, he doesn't have any. Oh, Chomper's the only other Pokemon. Yeah, that has nothing else. The sleep powder mist. That's uh. Oh no, just. That's a surprise mist. Oh no. Okay. Please aim. There we go. Okay. He's gonna have to revive the Machop now. You can use them. Actually, Machop is actually a potential strat for the first fight on on Hideout. There is a strat with Machop. Yeah, but I, I'm I'm still so, somewhat surprised not going for the Nido King. Then, I mean, he probably if wasn't expecting low. to miss Rhyhorn, and he just deposited it. Uh, he may uh, pull an uh, overgrappler or lurking into the party uh, on this menu here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Machop is going to cut it for all the fights. He does want like, to like, revive it, though. So. Yeah, but, like personally, I I just like using EV for this section. Uh, but when, when you when you have to like, especially in a race like this. You're just like... No, he's just uh, going without anything. Okay. I, I, I respect it. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Jesse out. and James may be a bit interesting later yeah. on. I would assume he puts Graveler in the party by that point. Or maybe like even a fairy. So with all this nonsense, I kind of lost track of the other two, but apparently JT is through rival, and Yaxo is on his way, and Headbob is about to get into the metronome fight, and we will see, well, unless there's a flinch. Because unless there's a flinch, we'll see yeah. something, yeah. There's no way Headbutt is a three-shot here, right? Because it's only like... 25? <laughs> There's no. no way, right? I doubt it. I, it yeah, should it still be, be a fine. three shot, yeah. yeah. Mega well, Drain. Mega Drain. No, that didn't, could, that could, didn't <laughs> drain enough. That's actually amusing because it, it could have been a three shot potentially if that was a bad roll or something <laughs> because of the Mega Drain. Mega Drain is actually a pretty decent move in this game because the Giga Drain doesn't exist. The Absorb became 40 power and Mega Drain became 70. Yeah. Yeah, and Leech. Uh... Leech Life also went up. Leech Life is the buffed version, yep. Yeah. Which has been used in the speedrun in the past. Yes, it was. In the original route, it was the Kabutops route. Um, unknown to the runners doing it at the time, um, Erika was in fact very dangerous, and nobody got punished really when they were first routing it out. And it was discovered later that, um, in fact, it is very likely for Kybertops to, to die with Erica with the strat that was being used at the time. Right, so JT should have double Mostly attack. Mostly because of that, that, that boost to, uh, yeah. to Mega Drain's uh, damage. Okay, Headbop not catching anything on 7. JT had double edge, so gets a one shot. Yaxo should also have a one shot with Poison Jab. Uh, because of Nido King. And Hadwabich is it's teaching Glitzy Glow. Pretty good move as well. I'm not sure if that baddie bad, personally. Yeah, baddie bad is, is where it's at. But so with this I would say Yaxo is slightly in the lead? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Yeah, Exo and JT are pretty close together. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, Headbob is not really that far behind, to be honest. I mean, yeah. Like, Headbob technically, I guess, is ahead of JT at the moment. Um, yeah. It's just like, it, it just has. It's, it's gonna have a harder time now with Hideout for sure than. Yeah, JT. Hideout's gonna be pretty much harder because Headbob's a little bit lower on experience. So he is doing the 2C fight uh, with Machop. You can just. X attack and brick break, I believe, on this one, if you want to. With Machop. Uh, depending, depending on the level. Depending on the level, yeah. There's also another fight, I think, with Headbop and. Uh, okay, that's the one he's going for. Headbop and then. Brick break, yeah. 
they, they got a super thing. If um, Critter Hyper Fang came in, it may have killed the Machop. Yeah. And you can also get flinched, because I think that one has bite as well. Yes, it does. Yeah. And it will uh, always outspeed the Machop as well. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, still a pretty good close race, I would say. Yaxo getting a Pidgey. Yeah, uh, Yaxo actually going together. to this little patch of grass on 8 to get the Firestone, uh, which is pretty standard on on Pika because you want it for Arcanine later. On Eevee, none of our Eevee runners did it because it doesn't really matter. You can get a, fire a faster Firestone later for Ninetales, and you can't ride Ninetales, so it doesn't. you don't really need it this early. Hey Bob, two seeing this fight as well. I believe it's a it's a one shot with Vector Tech. Uh, it, it is not a one shot with headbutt. Not a one shot. Okay, Machop could die here. Yep. It is a one shot with double edge. Um, I usually like to two see this yes. anyway. Just because I feel like if I one see, I get random AI really coming in. Arcanine yeah. reaction. That's an Arcanine. <laughs> okay. Not catching it. Sad. Fair, but I mean, he already has the Firestone, so catching Arcanine there is quite pointless. But you can use it. Yeah, when he catches Eevee. He just catch an Eevee, yeah. Yeah, and you can use the Arcanine earlier. You can just ride it uh -oh. until Yaxo hideout. Also getting, uh, Yaxo also forgetting to teach Floaty Float here. I think it's Floaty Float here, right? Floaty, floaty Fall. Floaty fall. Yeah. Or floaty and pole. yeah, yeah, and then I think I think it's it's splish, splishy splash later. Uh, I don't know the other ones. I know floaty fall. That's the only I'm one I know. Pretty sure. Because Pikachu only gets three moves. Yeah. I don't remember them. I know floaty fall is the flying one. Which you can use for Erika if you choose to do Erika early with Pika. Yeah, it is, uh, the other move is Splishy Splash. Okay. It's a 90 power special water move. Yeah. Yeah, Headbob seems to be making it work. Um... Yeah, I think Jesse and James here will be the real test yeah. of whether... Jesse and James will be the, seeing the problem. What he, what he brings in, yeah. <laughs> JT just needs to make sure that uh, when he flies yeah. back to Celadon that teaches uh, will synchronize as modest. Also, I don't think you said uh, Pika Papau. There is Pika Papau, yes. And then there's... Uh, well, VP Baldi? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen either of those moves. I don't think I have either. But it is, <laughs> it requires a minimum amount of friendship, and the more friendship you have, the stronger the move is. When you're in the fight, you shake the second Joy-Con. No, you shake the first Joy-Con. And it'll activate the move for you. And only when prompted by the icon, like of the shaking motion while yes, in a battle. Yeah. yeah. So let's look out for that if anyone ever sees here, like where you can use it. And... You can also use it in a fight when the uh, partner is not in uh, in the fight to boost the stats of that Pokemon. Okay. Which I have also never seen before. <laughs> I mean, honestly, all things considered, I think it. In the, he's still in the lead. It's just, yeah, that JNJ fight is gonna be weird. Um, let's see what yeah. he chooses to do. 
I don't know if I like the idea of having just two pokes, even if you're planning on just using those two pokes. I think no, it's I nice to have, have at least one extra, because these fights, yeah. it's very easy for one of your pokes to die. I mean, this would have been like a perfect fight to have like a, let's say a Kangaskhan as a second Pokemon. Yes, just fake out. Yeah, and it's very tanky, it can survive some hits. Yeah. Hibbop did have the option. Oh, that yeah. is true, wow. Hibbop did see a Kangaskhan. Mm. I told you it was going to be useful. Yeah, it's such a shame, you know. I knew it. I mean, it's all in the notes here that says if you have Kangaskhan. Yeah. At yeah, the beginning of the notes, just say there's oh, only one have, required have crash. At... It's Kangaskhan. I need to have a look at these notes then. I don't remember that being in the notes before. <laughs> They're in my notes. Uh, okay, that's why that, that's why I haven't seen it before. But my notes also say if you see nine tails, catch sixty of them. Sixty nine tails. Yes. Okay. Okay, he's just going in. So I guess he's really just. Banking on the fight with Machop. Oh no, wait, he has Nido King. Okay, I didn't actually notice. He does have Nido King. Notice. Okay. okay, that's much better now. And he has three pokes, which means the Machop is still there. Which is nice. Yeah, I mean, it still has two evil. Yeah, that's true, that as well. Okay, getting the parry there on the. King, the... very good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, he is gonna get out to pet still. Uh, but as long as he doesn't get, like, para here, it should be fine. Because it just kills the, the Arbok here. Yeah, this is pretty good yeah, now. Having Toxic uh, used as well means that he doesn't have to worry about I... potentially getting poisoned from Sludge Bomb as well. Yeah, true. He's gone to plus four and then just heals the poison. Yeah. In the next turn. Yeah, pretty good fight. All things considered. Yeah, that's just the power of, like, the partner EV. Even at a low level like this, or like, yeah, a relatively low level. It can just still do this fight relatively okay. Don't get fooled by all the Pika propaganda. EV is just better. Hey, we all know it, it's... Yeah. JT doing the alternate fight, which is using Rhyhorn. Yeah, level 26 Rhyhorn enemies is very likely to be a two-turn fight. A two-shot here. And getting EV double-targeted is a little scary yeah, there. But the Arbok dying makes this pretty good. Uh, EV could still die here, depending on what JT decides to do. Uh, it could try and go for just a plus four You're here. You're trying to go for the two... Yeah, we're going to plus Oh, four. yeah, you can do we're this going as well. Uh, EV's going to die, I think, but that's okay. EV will die here, but I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Especially because you don't have to bring in anyone. Gets the two turn. Yeah. Since the fight is over, he doesn't have to bring in anyone else, so... Just has to revive now. That's it. That's pretty good. Probably still faster than headbobs. Because of the two turn. Yeah, absolutely. I'd still go for the two turn over healing and going for a three turn. This way you don't have to heal the poison either. Yeah. He only has one revive yet left. Okay. Where did the user revive? Uh, Bellsprout died to oh, okay. yeah. the uh, Pidgeotto on uh, Boat Rival. Yeah. So Yaxo on Pika also doing the Rhyhorn strat. The Rhyhorn strat is much more important, I would say, for actually Pika. Even though Rhyhorn itself is not as important because of Arcanine, um, the Pika strat here is a little bit... Beta. Getting fully paralyzed though is un unfortunate. Yeah. Still hits through. Well, ideally, you really don't want to Arbok. heal the uh, the paralysis because it is using one of your uh, full heal items that you get given. True. And Rhyhorn really doesn't matter after this fight anyway. Yeah. It's actually a pretty good fight considering you got paralyzed. Yeah, it's a three turn fight, which is very good. Yeah. All right, Headbob heading into Geo. There's actually the other good thing about that is um, because Nigohin didn't get targeted at all, he doesn't have to worry about healing going yeah. into this fight. 
Well, this is this could be scuffed because Hadbob is a little under leveled, and this Persian yes, this could likes be quite to do scary. a lot of damage. So hopefully no crits. Hopefully no slash turn one. Yeah, slash turn one would be catastrophic. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Uh, don't crit, I guess. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. The burn is gonna help. Has to heal. Oh, not level have, twenty-eight. It should, it should, it should headbutt here, and it should be fine. Uh, uh, yeah, head just headbutt. Head just headbutt, yeah. and it's fine. Uh, even with Sizzle slide, it probably would have still been fine. But yeah, that was it so scary. A a range. Yeah, if either of those slash had crit, then uh, that would have been uh, a dead EB. Yeah. Now getting the twenty-eight. No, you do not need double edge at the point. For the hunter. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yes. Because um, Eevee can, Eevee's like Eevee's unique ability that, good. that it can it can target ghost types with normal type move, yeah. Yep. Just that good. Yeah, it has crappy, secretly. <laughs> <laughs> JT through the fight as well, pretty much. Just has to do the Rhyhorn. Yeah, I, I don't think the Rhyhorn being level thirty. Yeah, probably not. That's fine. And this Rhyhorn can be a range if you're minus special. Um, if you're neutral, right. even if you are super under leveled, like Headpop was, I'm guessing it wasn't. So. Yeah, with JT being level thirty, even if it was minus special attack, it wouldn't have been a range. Yeah, exactly. And Pika doing a different strat. Or you do two C. Yes, we have a, a little bit of an issue with um, ground types and being able to hit them. Yeah. So in, in fact, we have to rely on double kick. We have to go to plus six and helping hand, which means we're actually we're at effectively plus ten against the Rhyhorn, and double kick just about kills. Imagine needing plus ten to kill a Rhyhorn, while Eevee just does plus zero, and it's fine. Yeah, even a minor special attack EV bouncy ball is not a range. That's either. the real diff. I, I think it can be a range, but you have to be low level. Yeah. So Headlock did not get the Ultra Balls. I don't believe JT did either. I don't imagine no. Raxo will get them either. At this catch count, it would be fine too. Yeah. Yeah, the catch counts seem safe enough that they don't need to worry about it. So, one. Somewhat funny thing is JT forgot to set his nature. Oh yeah, he's nice. to remember that. So let's see if he remembers the doctor tower. Yeah. If he forgets again, he could still come back, I guess. Just before, or just like, after like this game. YOLO it. Or just YOLO. Some people have YOLO'd it. Yeah. It has been done before. Yep. Um, I would not recommend it. <laughs> people haven't gotten. Badly punished for it. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting because I think I remember Joker got quiet. It wasn't yeah, that just bad. because it hasn't happened? Just because it hasn't happened before, where people got punished for it, doesn't mean it, you won't get punished for it yourself. That is fair. That spinner pass always Great. scares me. It scares it scares me as well. I just don't do it like that. If it turns, I just wait. I just can't be bothered. I'll go for it, because... Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's, yeah it's, it's, it's scary, regardless. Yeah. Uh, is this going to be a range on the Hunter? Could be. I think so. Got it anyway. But I think this could be a range here, uh, because of being on the level. I'm not sure. He mean 28, considering he's gotten a couple of special attack AVs. Yeah, maybe it's fine. He's, he's gotten at least three special attack AVs. Yeah. He should be fine. Alright, so let's see what the trackers look like, actually. Yeah, Headbop can get two Pokemon here in tower. Because it doesn't have a Q-Bone. Ooh, that would be clutch. 
would be very optimal. Yep. So Yaxo still has tentacle mark, but he also has like 54 uh, plan. So I can definitely skip that tentacle. Um, unless something horribly wrong happens. So Yaxo with 34 uh, is going to have a little bit more of room in these late catches. Probably could skip the Ghastly if one doesn't spawn. JT and Headbob, the Ghastly is a little more important, I would say. Not absolutely mandatory, but definitely. For Yaxo, I see Yaxo has a Psyduck plant, but not Golduck. Okay. Would you at that point, like, skip the Lapras? And because I don't think you need to candy. Okay, so with, with with the current no 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 I think the so Lapras should still be faster than anything else. As far as I remember. Um Yeah, I think ideally you just For Yaxel's case, I think I just remove the Pidgeotto as well here and uh and the side Yeah, I And the tentacle. Although of they, I think they have Pidgey in their party at the moment. Oh Apple okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense then. But if it isn't in the party, then yeah, I just... Yeah, the Pidgey's Pidge in the party, he called it. Okay, okay. In that when case, he, yeah. Went for the Firestone. So he's trying to even it out. Um, okay. but either way, you can just deposit it when you're depositing... Um, when, you're, when you're evolving Growler. And depositing everything else. Yeah. And like other problems, this is actually a good problem to have. Yeah, absolutely. Being like, okay, what do I get rid of is far better yeah. than being, okay, how do, how do I make up to 50? Yeah. Yeah, you see, like, a few different, like, types how people, like, use their Pokedex. Some people mark a lot and just, like, even, like, mark out, like, things that probably won't catch, but they might see, like, mark already the Krabby and Kingler and the Tentacool and Tentacruel. And others like just have a base route and some extras and work accordingly. No tower. I actually want. start. I, I start my uh, game these days with uh, forty nine plan. Okay. That's a hunter. Could catch the hunter to even the catch count. Nope. I would not recommend it. Okay, uh, Yax actually unplanned the Pidgeotto. Yeah. So maybe if you don't evolve from this fight here, then yeah, absolutely. You can just deposit it when you evolve relevant yeah. to Arcanine. That is true. You're going to be depositing um, either Rhyhorn or Nidoking, whatever you kept in the party. Yeah. Actually, I think the Pidgey didn't go to the party because he has the Growlithe. Uh, Oh, you had, uh, no, it wouldn't have gone into the party. You're right. Nido King, because of... Pikachu, yeah. and Machop, Krabby, and uh, Cubone. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Or Ryorn there somewhere. Yeah, in that case, I think it's fine. Oh, no, you actually didn't put Growlithe into the party. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I this guess is gonna be Ryhorn strength? Yeah you, can, yeah, you could try and finish it off. I, I would say finish off the Arbok with Ryhorn and then try and revive Pika. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I tried to do this and I got flinched like three times. It's quite bad, yeah. Because yep. yeah, if Ryhorn just gets um, double targeted. Yeah. yeah. My last round, yeah, I got... My EV died, and then I brought in Rhyhorn to try and finish it off. I got double targeted like three times in a row, and two of those flinched or something, and it just... It wasn't good. I lost like two and a half minutes for that. Hopefully it's fine here. Um, getting rid of the Arbok is the important thing here at the moment. And then you can figure it out. Uh, okay. Trying to get back. Yeah, I think we've got a Dark Pulse into the King, so it's going to be almost dead again. Which means it should bait an attack into it, hopefully. So Pika shouldn't get double targeted here. 
At this point, I'd be even considering X attacking and zippy zapping just to be able to outspeed the Arbog. He already yeah, outspeeds. But he already outspeeds, so. Should yeah, be he already okay outspeeds now. Exactly. Should be fine now. Um, yeah, the Nether King dying is Nether fine. Nether King fainting, yeah. Um, bring in the chop now, I'd say. Yeah. And this should be fine. Really unfortunate there. JT is remembering to synchronize, so not having to worry about what nature our Snarmy might be. Good. Does Yaxa has to have to center here? Or I think so. Don't know how many revives it still has. Uh, we have two revives left, so it should uh, in that case it should be, be fine to... then. It doesn't need Needle King, it doesn't need, yeah. need Rhyhorn, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but then you don't have any revives left. Yeah, but I mean... It is what it is. I think it's probably still better. Do you want to take the time loss of centering at this point? Means you, like, can't do 2C strats. So I, I guess you can still for Giovanni. Because there's a revive you can the because there's there. a revive you can pick up as you leave, yeah. If if Yaxo knows that. Yeah, that's that's a given. The I guess the only pro like the only thing you would be covering here is if you get really unlucky on one of the other fights, like I don't know, Ted for example. Yeah. If you're pushing with like one scene army, or yeah, you get crit by Ted. But Ted we you can finish off Ted with Rapidash. Potentially, if you have Rapidash there. It's true. You just need to make sure that you are. Um, I think then hitting level 40, uh, 48 on Sabrina is a little close. We'll see what he decides to do. He revived. Oh, okay. The only thing he could have done is not revive one of them, deposit them, and bring Pidgey in. Yeah. That, yeah, that would have been pretty smart, actually. Very situational. Play. Yeah, it's not something you really think about yeah, in, the, that's actually... in the time because you're not used to having something to evolve in the party, like in your in your box still. But yeah, that would have saved one revive. That is a do duo far away from where it's supposed to be. Yeah, maybe they can spawn also in that like bush or grass. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, I mean they do also like to run, so yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if it's managed to get up there. So, Headbop already found the pony, so... Very good, finally doesn't have to run. Give his poor leg some rest. Yeah, because there's something else to point out. Headbop hasn't had a, a mount Pokemon the entire time. No Rhyhorn. But yeah, you can see like how one bad fight for Yaxo put him behind by like a minute. Yeah. Where the other two are pretty it's much like tied at the same spots. Yeah, the other two are, yeah, Headbob and, and Vicky are pretty much tied now. A lot could still happen though, so. Yeah, they're still Definitely not out of the race. To go. Ooh, JT going for a Pidgeotto? Or. Okay, actually actually going for it. Pidgeotto, that works. I'm not a huge fan of Pidgeotto. Yeah, me I've been I feel burnt like by this thing before, just breaks so... out. Even, yeah. my, Even an excellent. I lost. I lost two minutes uh, in this tournament to Pidgeotto. This thing is 88 to get in with excellent. Doesn't feel like it. So. Oh, true. Great. No, it doesn't. Excellent is 88 percent. Yeah. If you raz it, then it's 99. But also, it could just start moving along. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the problem. And it does usually just start moving around, which makes it hard also to hit the excellent itself. Just... Yeah. Luckily no problems there. JT does still need this... a pony. Yeah, and I think for Hatbop after this though duo, he'll probably just run down and... Yeah. 
If the dildo spawns, good. Otherwise, skip it. Yeah, skip it and get the rat, cool instead. Yeah, have yeah you could still... use a big rat here as well. Yeah, yeah like the big rat is... Uh, like it. There's a lot of... There's a lot of places where you could still spawn, but I wouldn't say it's one of those like guaranteed. Maybe the small one. I feel like the I'd small say one. It, in mansion, it's you're almost guaranteed to see a radicate. I feel. I don't know about that. Or just from my experience, um, I think definitely small rat. Not sure about big rat, but I mean, headbutt yeah, is still I, at the start of the route. Still, no. There's a big there's rat. One. There we go. Crisis averted. Yeah, I had to wait. Like, I, I found my big rat in the basement in my last run. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, at least from my experience, big rat is not as common. Like, it, it shows up. There's a pony for JT. Fairly often, but it's. I feel like a, a small rat is always guaranteed, pretty much. Yeah, but I mean, it's also like, if you mention, it's like, okay, then I'll get a magma or. That is true, yeah. It just yeah, comes to it. You can, yeah, magma. Yeah, or ditto. Just make sure you pick up the silver razors beforehand and. Yeah. Yeah, Magma becomes somewhat okay. Uh. Kenny the pony? Okay. Okay. Jaxo Candy the pony. Usually, Pika Runners will hold on to Arcanine for a little longer and just hope the pony. Evolves naturally. I think. I think the problem candy. for Yaps was that uh, the Arcanine was alive, so it would have gained a lot of yeah. speed. Oh, yeah. okay. And I think that changes the equation. Oh yeah, because he forgot to bring in the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the normal strat for Pikachu runners is to bring it in on Jesse and James because yeah. it's a level Pokemon. It will get targeted and killed. Yeah. And gives you a, a an extra turn basically as a sacrifice fodder. Then you evolve it and then you can still ride it even though it's fainted. And it won't get EXP and you still have your right Pokemon. What a cringe Psyduck for CT there. Okay. So I think that's the last catch for JT. Yep. Here. Here, yeah. yeah. After this, he only has two more catches. Yeah, all of these runners are pretty solid catch routes at the moment. JT getting the silver razes. I always yeah, get the silver razes these just... days. I've had too many star breakouts. The same, yeah. It's such a small amount of time investment. Yeah. It's like an extra second just to be uh, sure about your your tummy catch, pretty much. Yeah. Not even sure, but sometimes I don't know. Oh, a chancy. Bonjour. Okay. The star you was telling you to catch the chancy. Maybe get the chancy now chancy after the star. Save some candies. <laughs> <laughs> you never know where you might need those candies. Yeah. Okay, star is being annoying. I, did. yeah. I didn't see the. CP so actually, account. I was about to say this. Like, this is one of the use use cases I think are pretty good for. And just as I say it, I get, it gets punished. Uh, Ten ninety one. Very nice. Very nice. But I feel like Ooh. I don't know. I feel like I get motion controlled more often than not on Star. So having the silver reses also helps with those cases, I guess. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. just makes it more likely. Like he he missed the circle twice and just yeah. improves that. I remember the silver reds. It's about it's it's about like seventy five percent or so. Yeah. If with no circle. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Yaxo going for. 
identical? Uh, yeah. This is a little... It's one of his plant catches he needs. Okay, it. gets a nice it, yeah. with a Raz. Not very confident on this one. Okay, that's him. Did he need a tentacle? Yeah, he didn't get uh, Psyduck. Yeah. Okay. Or Pidgeotto. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. about getting a great Honda Tentacle. You never want to I see... I do not know um, what Yaxo's CP is. I cannot tell. <laughs> it's 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 four digits. There okay. is four digits, so that's, that that's is a win. one thing we know. I'm sure we'll figure you know, out the one of the rare three-digit stars. Right, head up in mansion now. JT heading there. First, gonna catch the star. Ooh, level wow. six. six. Very nice. Can't wait for all of these stars to really be like really bad. Yeah. yeah super special defense, Wilkie. Yeah. And Bob getting the coughing, I'm guessing that's the last catch. Uh, yeah, it should be the last catch. That should be the last one for him, yup. Yeah. So needs to pick up the Firestone, but otherwise... If people in chat can help us with deciphering these stats... Okay, 80 81, nice, okay. Uh, 89, that's okay. 83. Oh, that's slow. Uh, was it? Yeah, that's... It, was it 83? I it think so. 83, I saw. Oh, I thought I, I saw yeah, 89, minim, okay. That's minimum speed. I think it was 83. I thought I saw 89. Yeah, okay, I think yeah. it went from 81 80... to 83. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think it's 87 now, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it could be worse. I think. I feel like I've seen worse? Not sure. It's definitely pretty bad. Alright, let's try and let's try and see it quickly here. Yeah, we'll see it, it's called. In the meantime, yeah. head up getting his stats. Pretty fast. Very okay fast, special. yeah, and okay special. Yeah. yeah. You'll you'll take those. Above right, average see. special tech. I'm sorry, I could barely see that one. I'm not really yeah. sure what that was. Did anyone catch the speed that 46 on the spot. I think it was 120? Hold on, I, I screenshotted it, but it still doesn't help. There's no way it's 120. <laughs> I, I if think, it was if it was I in the 80s. I think it's 120. If it was in the 80s, then it couldn't have been, I think. But he did use uh Yeah. Did he use exactly 93 instead of 83 maybe? I'm sure we'll find out when it gets to the Nine Tails or the Rapid Dash. <laughs> we'll find out, yeah. We'll just see. That was JT's star. It, this this kind of makes this like a sort of randomizer run in a way. <laughs> Even we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> JT has a has a god star apparently. Okay. It was eleven oh six. CP. Yeah. Uh, so I'd expect something decent. Eighty-eight, ninety-four, or something. That—that's really good. Headbop Star is pretty decent, I would say. It has very good speed. Special attack maybe could have been a little bit, a little bit better, but okay, Ditto on screen. Okay, it's one percent, by the way. Yeah, JT Star is great. One nineteen speed at forty-five. Ditto actually messed up. Star special yeah. attack. This is why you don't do the, the 2C fancy thing. Yeah, but the star was pretty decent, I would say. You want a little bit better, I guess, special, but you definitely take uh, what Headbob has at the moment. It'll do. Oh, definitely.
Like, if you don't see, like, mid-80s in speed and, like, 70s-something in Special Attack at 45, then you're basically happy with it, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, the race that I did the other day with uh, Randall and uh, Randall LB and I, and I got minimum special attack. To the point where I missed the range of Nine Dales. Oh yeah, that's that's fun. You don't at even 46. need minimum for that. At forty six, okay. I missed the range at forty six. I did not know that could be a range at forty six ever. Okay. It still must have been like super favorable. Sadly, I was aware of that fact that it's still a range. That's great. Is Mux still a range? On Archer? It should be. Wow. I hit that range, but... That's crazy. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. I have run Min Spatak several times and I've never missed it. It's crazy. All the dittos. Um, no crit, please? Okay, or that, that's actually even better. Just target the Rapid Dash. So Yaxo doesn't have any revives, I guess, so... This would have been one of the fights where it could be... Pretty bad. A little scary. Yeah, yeah pretty bad. That's fine. JT getting the cycle on the, uh, the Scientist Spinner. Ooh, okay. Gaming. Yeah, that's just so good because that means you also make this one like earlier. You so JT is actually there. slightly ahead of Hebub, I would say. Because he has one more candy. He doesn't pick up the rare candy here as well, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I wonder... That is interesting. Oh, JT I think went for two candies only. I think JT's star was 45. Yeah, he only went two, but then you still don't need this one. JT only had two, which means oh, JT he only had two. probably didn't pick up that six? Probably skip Route 6. Yeah, or the one not at uh, Pokemon Roads. I, uh, I've oh, forgotten that one. No, you have okay. to hit that spinner. Oh Ooh, no. This oh no, spinner. this one is like the really one, bad. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, yeah, that seems to be a forfeit here from. GG yeah. XO, yeah, he says I'm done in chips. <laughs> GG XO. GG XO. Oh, JT used two candies on Rapid Ash. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. It's very unfortunate for Yaxo. Yeah. Put your edit quiz times in chat. JT giving the correct answer of what's that to Tombstone? -y? Hell yeah. Yeah, as aspect we are both like 11335 one, one, options, right? Uh... I switched between 5 and 2. Okay. In the last fair. One. Depending on which which way I go with the with the input. But you do go for 3? Yes. Yeah. Okay, burn on head Oh, the burn as well. Very unlucky. Uh, I guess we'll never as find out what Yaxo's star was like. Yeah, as long as you don't get out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's really mystery lost the time. <laughs> okay, no burn for JT. This could be the the rich get richer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool, pretty close race. JT is slightly ahead because he has one more catch, but it's anyone's race at this point. Yeah, there's still the great equalizers coming JT up. JT has a slightly, I wouldn't say slightly, but okay, a better star, really good star. Uh, Headbob is okay. But it should be serviceable. 
I would say. All the potential ranges should still be good ranges for Headbub. So, if he needs That's to go thing. for slightly riskier strats, it should still be able to do. To do so. Trying to think what kind of pace they are on at the moment. Uh, it's probably like a. I want to say like 305. Yeah. 304, 305. Probably something like that. They have pretty good eye, like catch count, or at least JT does. Um, probably around that, yeah. Yeah, Headbob still has a, a nine tail smart, so a Firestone Evolution. It's just the uh, the waiting game until we get the Archer 2 first of the uh, the battles that can really uh, give us uh, some distance between our runners. So actually, let's see. Okay, they both have those real, which means they probably will use those real for blue. If they don't, then it could still backfire on blue. We have seen quite a few fire blast misses. Yeah, it's definitely looking like 304's 304 pace for Headbob at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I have access to Headbob's splits, so... <laughs> I'm just going with my splits! We are doing Dodrio for the headbutt. Yeah, it's 304 base at the moment. Yeah, it definitely seems JT is ever so slightly ahead at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, still a few fights where anything can happen. Archer 2 being one of them, then of course Kaden and Koga can always just lose your time randomly. And then Victory Road is also 
really bad sometimes. Naomi and Caroline. Even Nelson can be uh, a slight pain. Yeah. And I mean, Headbob could try to go for like plus four on Lorelei and Mr. Range or something like that. Yeah. Or I don't think JT really has ranges there. Yeah, JT should be fine to do plus four. <laughs> I don't think JT has ranges. Anyway, ever. yeah. This star is think... incredibly high. I mean, we'll see. Thing. I mean, yeah. there's still a lot to go. So it'll depend, I guess, on how far behind or how far ahead that Bob is at, at the moment um, they reach there. I think Lorelei is not... I personally don't mind going to plus six most of the time. Because it feels pretty safe. And doesn't yeah, waste it's too nice much to time. guarantee those ranges and like you're I'm risking gonna risk stuff all the I'd, time. If I'm gonna risk stuff, I'd rather risk, I don't know, Samuel or even Naomi maybe. Yeah, being able to cut out that 2C fight yeah. will save you more time overall than just an, a single X item. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if JT can even go for the uh, Psychic range on Samuel later. See what kind of range he gets from that. I don't think the 1C Psychic. I don't think it was we'll see 1C Psychic either. But I mean 2C and like Stomp or... Yeah, I, I yeah 1C Psychic that. is just Depen crazy. Depending on, on how many Psychics get wasted through Koga, but realistically they should be the Skull Rangers be yeah, pretty much they're, they're guaranteed, not, they're not, so... They're not, they're not Rangers, they're just Skulls. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it, it's not a lot faster per se, like this, this, this bit to have like a lower special attack, but it's just, it feels a lot light, nicer to have a high special attack. Yeah, absolutely. It just, it, it's just nice to not have to worry about ranges or um, any, or running out of, uh, of PP for moves. Yeah, where you can just like, oh, I'm on, I'm on the rifle fight. I can just click psychic here. A cadabra for uh, for head bob there. That's <laughs> probably a bad omen, to be honest. Yeah, it's fine. Cadabra is actually not that new. Two hours away. for JT to make up. <laughs> cadabra is actually. Surprisingly good catch. I would say it's easier than Abra. And thankfully we didn't see any Porygons, so we definitely know our run is completely cursed. Yep. Only one Chansey. There was only one Chansey and it was not caught. Was only, it one only one scan. Yeah, okay. Yeah. At least at least since I joined we only saw the one on Yaxo's screen. Yeah, or... there was only the one on uh on Headbob. Yeah, Headbob, yeah. Headbob, yeah. Twenty one, yeah. Yeah, twenty one. That was the only chancy so far. That's good. I like a, a good no chancy race. At least it's fair. You're well, right. that like two of them got a got yeah, a. If round someone caught a chance, they would be at an extreme disadvantage. All right, time for blue. Like I say, both have gold real, so it should be pretty Maybe uneventful. Both Dodrio, yeah, JT so can just shouldn't be anything to worry about. JT, JT can, yeah. should be able to skip the X back on the Charizard. I don't yeah. know. Just called the Bob, back. I don't know what Headbob has at the moment. I'm guessing he's. Probably gonna need the, the X pack. You could also just risk it, I guess. Depends on your speed of your Dodrio. Yeah, headbook's just going, I know. Yeah. Oh, JT got a bit 
messed up in what uh, fight he was in. Oh, okay. To, I think he was trying to X special the uh, the army after X attacking the oh, okay. and realize before using it. Okay. Oh, Dodrio. I think Dodrio is fast enough, so he can just call drill back here. He can just call drill back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Dodrio will outspeed Charizard. Well, he's just gonna go for the X special anyway. I'm going for it. Yeah, that's like you, you. You really have no clue what the speed is of this Charizard, but it's 106. Yeah, but Skull should should just kill here. Uh, for JT. Yeah, but it would have been a range because he wasn't 46. Oh, he wasn't 46. Okay, never mind. I forgot yeah, about you, that. Yeah, but you skipped the X uh, special attack. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because he went. He only had two candies to use. He used two on Rapidash. Yeah. And now he's gonna do two. Later. And then he he wasn't. Yeah, 46. There. Two candies on Rapidash could mean power of love on Rapidash, unfortunately. <laughs> later. If he does too soon. I mean, I think deal. Power of Love would. I think he'd be over Power of Love trigger anyway, right? Yeah, it should be. 119 special attack on JT. Right, so it would have been a range. Minutes. It would have been maybe like an 8 an eight out of 16 range, probably. Okay, I think that was perfect Somewhere turn 1. There. Yeah, perfect turn 1 for Headbob. Yeah, perfect. Uh, is, it, is it Focus Energy? That's the perfect turn 1. Oh no, it's Bond no, Range. Not so not quite. Close enough. I would definitely take that self over. Self-destruct protect. protect for JT, that's fine. Let's see what comes out next. Goldback can be a bit scary if it comes out next. Uh, so can Weezing, although Weezing could protect here, which would, would not be that bad. Weezing is, I mean, Weezing can't start dropping your defenses. Yeah, but can also paralyze you. Doesn't it go for Dark Pulse normally? I think it has Thunderbolt, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm confusing. I think it's just Dark yeah, Pulse. Yeah, I know it has Dark Pulse, but I thought it had T Bolt. Maybe I'm confusing with something else. I guess Agatha's. She's just playing Ag safe. Agatha's has T Bolt. Maybe this one doesn't. Support and fight for headphones. Focus energy, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, JT is hoping for no soccer punch here on the Starby. Let's go for the Q1, maybe. Okay, that is unfortunate. Uh, it's fine. He can tank another one anyway. You won't need to heal. Yeah. Can it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it did like 18 damage or so. And hopefully, uh, yeah, Q1 hopefully the Q1 hits. Uh, the boomerang. I, I wonder if Headbutt would kill here. Jesus. See? That is so close. It wasn't close at all. Okay, it's uh, the boomerang. boomerang. Very nice. Yep. So that was a six turn? Was it? Yes. I think five. Was it five? Yeah, I thought five, but sure. Kind of lose track. So that basically makes them tight now. Yeah, probably around. Yeah, I would say tight. Yeah, five turn, five turn. Well, there's still plenty of uh, bad fights to go. Yep. This game is just a paradise for time loss in Blood Game. Yeah, time loss out of out of your control as well. Yeah, exactly. It's still it's not as bad as some other Pokemon games, but it's like oh, absolutely. With, yeah. with the early game, how like how very nice relatively this early game is for this game. Yeah. Then the late game just comes in by crashing. Like, I'm still a Pokemon game. I can also ruin your day. <laughs> <laughs> the next couple of fights are pretty pretty safe though. But yeah, once uh, we get to Koba's gym. Sabrina can be annoying. You can have a really bad Sabrina fight. Yeah, if you get unlucky and you keep losing, uh, keep having your special defense dropped, it can get a little scary. Yeah, or like a late light screen. And... Yeah. Just skip light screen. 
I, I had a I, I have a clip of it where like last year where where I had a three special defense drops and I was like okay I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely fair. Like I've you can't seen... out heal at that point. You're the... <laughs> yeah. Just use an expert. I've seen I've seen light screen skip twice ever in my runs. I've seen it once and I PB'd on that run. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, but Aspect, you've also seen other moves that don't exist, yep. but we'll talk about that later. I have. I think That's I've seen like... every single rare occurrence uh, that can happen in this game. We'll talk about it in like 35 minutes. And there's one before that that I've seen a fair, a fair few times as well. I've lost multiple runs to it. Yeah, JT with his final evolution, so it just needs to get the gift Pokemon, and uh, assuming we haven't marked something incorrectly, we've counted to 50. That would be exciting, mismarking something. Yeah, <laughs> sudden kicked by Koga. I mean, imagine if they, like, both do it. That would be so wild if they both got kicked. <laughs> 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 Maybe I should. <laughs> How many races do we have left? Okay, it's. Oh, slash crit coming in. It would in be a pretty JT. funny bit to do with other racers. It would have been pretty <laughs> funny if, like, I don't know, the ones that had. I think it was you, Sheep. With Razor and, like, you did the. Um, the ditch build. Yeah, we all three. You could have like, organized like, yourselves to just get kicked. Yeah, hold on, I need to, that would have been. Hold on, I need to ask Randall. I need to ask Randall and talk or something. <laughs> that would have been funny. And, like you could still like I mark. Would... You could still mark something else just to. Yeah. Fool the commentators as well. Yeah, yeah. like just like catch an early pinchy and then make, mark a pinchy also at some point. Yeah, no exactly. <laughs> See, the problem is if I catch an early pinchy, I'm catching Pidgeotto on round six most of the time. Yeah, I need something else. But yeah, JT got a slash crit on Giovanni there, which is pretty rare considering it has to pre-roll the crit first and then also crit again. Is that something that uh, smart AI trainers do? They uh, will pre-roll all damage and in that pre-roll includes pre-rolling crits. Yeah, so it'll determine based on, on what the roll is, what does the most damage, and then after that it'll uh, use whatever move used the most damage. We, we might see some funky moves coming out of uh, Giovanni later if we see some 1C strats. Yeah, and we can already see it on, like, Caden. Yeah, absolutely, as well. And... And uh, Koga, especially, as well. Yeah, and, and later on, Bruno. Depending on if you have a second Pokémon out. Yes. Or, like, a second Pokémon in your party, I, I should say. We have equal uh, catch counts now, so we can see the true difference between our runners here. Yeah, Hellbob hasn't marked the two gifts yet, but he has them. 
96 special attacks. Will that be enough? Might be. It might be. Might get a little close. Yeah. All right. Let's see how how they do on the teleporters. This race is pretty close. It could come down to just movement here. Ooh, this is the first one. Ooh, this is the second one. This is JT's chance. It's pretty annoying that this is the thing. To be honest, the quarters. I feel like you end up losing so much time to it. And you can really get trolled by it as well. I don't know, it's not, it's not easy. They're not easy to do, no. Some of them can be uh, be a little finicky. Especially yeah. some, some of the ones that you can't really see properly. Yeah, exactly. So, Headbob I think missed two. JT so far only one. Missing one is usually kind of okay. okay that's the, the second one. <laughs> Missing one is usually kind of okay because it kind of works out with the spinners as well with the cycles. Yeah. If you start missing multiple of them, your spinner cycles start getting a little bit uh, funky. Yeah. And you just got to adapt. All right. Show me lights. Can skip. Boo. Pretty standard fight for Headbub. It sounds like it's gonna be pretty standard as well for JT. So you just attack yeah, special twice, attack speed, and then you finish it off. Basically, stall enough time basically until light screen is off. Ooh, burn. Get a burn. Unnecessary. Not too much uh, status lag. Yeah. So that was like fine. That can be a, a lot worse. You can just wait there for like five seconds. One twenty five special at forty eight. Still gonna candy once. No, twice. Uh, no, 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 I Three mean head bob. Head bob, yeah. head, head bob candy once. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, with JT I'm not really worried about any ranges. <laughs> <laughs> with head bob, yeah. Um, so 125, yeah. Yeah. you could probably go for some sculpt, uh, maybe. JT's at 126. Because it's not gonna be 125, it's gonna get a level up here with the candy. Let's see what it yeah. looks like. Does JT need two candies? <laughs> two candies should absolutely be enough for the guarantee all skull ranges. 126, 132 is incre incredible. At 47. <laughs> yep. Uh, Alright, let's see. Okay, 128. I don't have the ranges at. Handy, but uh, that's a 14 and 16 on Weezing yeah. and uh, guaranteed on Venomoth. Yeah, so probably gonna. I mean, probably just gonna scold everything there. Yeah, I mean, definitely the moth. Especially had Bob already elixir as well. Uh, I didn't actually see if JT already elixir. I believe he did. Okay. Honestly, one. Yep. Guaranteed for wheezing. Yeah. The. 
I think Hedlop had 139 speed, I believe. Did he? Okay. If I saw that so there is a and chance. He, yeah, he could. Hedlop Star that. was very fast. Yeah. yeah. So he could be skipping an X speed on the rival later. No kicks today. Well, I guess we'll see about JT. One forty. Yeah, it's one forty to outspeed. I think. I forget if it's one forty or one forty one. As in, I forget if it's one forty to outspeed or if it's one forty the speed of the 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 Pikachu or the Raichu. I think it's one forty to outspeed. I think it's one forty to outspeed. Yeah. Alright, time for Kaden. Toxic, okay. Oh, we're gonna go for it, okay. Uh, don't blame him, to be honest. I don't blame and him. And it was the correct play because yeah. it did not go for Protect. <laughs> so it could have yeah, gone if, for if it does, If it does, it's pain. Okay. okay. This is a little awkward, but it's fine. It's better than wasting 24 turns with yeah, minimized absolutely. shenanigans. Let's see what we get from JT. Toxic as well, Toxic. okay. Goes for the exact same strat. Just gonna go for it as well, yep. Ooh, okay. Finished. I guess the, the rich get richer. Yep. As usual. With Let's Go races. Oh no! No, Headbob! Just didn't have the wall enough. I Did have he heal? no clue what this has one poke. I don't know. A hunter. Did he heal? I mean, Psychic hit plus know. zero will kill I this. So. Uh, Phil. Oh, he did. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, the protect is a little concerning. Double protect, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Bill has seven psychics. Uh, already elixir, but yeah, he's probably just gonna do skulls. And yeah, that's enough for JT to well, take a lead ever yep. so slightly. Uh, uh okay. Oh, Movement. Oh. It's neck and neck. Yep. He is very much going to come down to protects. <laughs> Boom, Tetris for Jeff. That is a very unfortunate. You've got to make sure that you're like pretty close to the bottom of the side of that wall yeah, to yeah, avoid yeah. that trainer. Yeah. In general, in Let's Go, you want to be hugging the walls, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I have hit the trainer before. I've never hit it, but I have gotten lost in this gym once. <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> yeah, when you're first learning, it absolutely is very easy to get lost. Oh, okay, difference JT already. Going... Protect instead of uh, protect versus toxic. Oh, okay. Um, okay, gonna go for psychic here. Uh, that's fair, actually, because you're not gonna get a protect again anyway. The, like a range. Uh... And you're not gonna get a protect, no so protect you're not gonna waste it most for JT. But this one you want is called, yeah. No protect either for headbutt. So headbutt should be, should be fine on psychics, even with the the extra trainer. Did he get choosing to go to Thunderbolt for for one turn? Uh, headbutt saving one turn there with a no protect from the Golbat. The classic protect. Let's see protect if we got protect here. Ooh, okay. No protect. There's a uh, head bob saving one turn on Gogoro for uh, JT. Yeah, I'm not sure if this like this difference can be made up now. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's done here, right? <laughs> GG. Yep. There's no there's no possible there's way. There's no point in finishing. Can, it, yep. It's, it's just done now. Yep. JT left the fight earlier. That's... Yeah, That's I think because uh, Headbub had to menu and also got the Rapidash level up. Yeah, Headbub ah, had yeah. to had to heal it, heal the toxic. So that's a slightly slower turn. back in the lead. What an upset! 
They're so close. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I guess it's over for Headbop now then. And it was two pretty close. I feel like the race up. has been pretty close since the beginning. Oh. Even with Yaxo. Yeah. yeah, it was all very close. Like it, it very much spread out a bit because of the different uh, catch counts. Yeah, with JT's being so low. Yeah. And then even like all through hideout, I guess like Jaxo with his like unfortunate tower Jesse and James fight was the first one to uh to, to be left behind a bit there. But so the JT actually was... didn't elixir early. Yeah, I think I believe JT is generally a late elixir enjoyer. I'm also a late elixir enjoyer, just from all the experiences I have with Kaden. But it's not like the walking too down. consequential to use it later, to be honest. Like, it doesn't waste that much time, so... I think it's, I think it's basically just that you're already in the bag to yeah. heal after Sabrina, so... It's just like a slightly yeah. quicker menu when you're already in there. Exactly. I always early elixir as well. So are we I gonna see early elixir permanently? Are we gonna see any megas? <clears throat> I get the yes. feeling that we're not gonna see Mega Starmie today. Mega Starmie maybe not, but like Cherry. We might we maybe. might we might see one me one mega. I think was it like the Venusaur Alt main that uses the Mega? Yes. <laughs> uh, Bootleg Ash also uses Mega Charizard. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep, I remember. I've done that before. Now that is a category. That, that is one I of the categories of all time that I will never run again. again. Yep, it was not fun. I do not like catching that many Taurus. Thank yep. you. <laughs> or Oddishes. So, oh, Oddish, so if, yeah, that's very true. So if next re weekend Rendell's like, "Hey, Espec, want to race?" <laughs> Bootleg Ash? I'd be like, absolutely not. <laughs> or I'd say yes and then proceed to do it any percent and no, no mount skips, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to catch all these tarot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see if anyone's gonna want to see Samuel. They're pretty close to each other. Yeah, and I'm happy that it's like, yeah, JT has a very good st uh, star, but Headbox isn't a bad star. Yeah. Headbox is, is pretty good as well. To be they can yeah, both it's like, play with if they need to. It was only about, like, three special attack points lower. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. It's good really enough to even Psychic this, which is pretty good. Uh, JT has enough to do the Psychic Stomp strat on... Which can save an expect. Yeah, head bob, head bob does as well. Um, yeah, the, oh, he's only one C, okay. Only the one C. Also one C, okay. Also one C for so, JT. Both players. I'm not sure I would do this in this situation, but it's totally fair. Because they're so close, I would maybe wait until later, but we'll see. I'll I mean, and we bump. know the rich get richer, so head bob is fine. Yup. Oh no, why did you speak? Why did you speak? Okay, we're fine. Yeah, Gonna be I was a bit pretty of a sure, considering, considering JT had a pretty high CP, there's a good chance that the special the, the defense was uh, was quite high. Yeah. He does need to heal here, so it's gonna lose a bit of time. But it's not the end of the world. That can go a lot worse, I guess. So Headbuff now may be wondering if 2C might make more sense now. You don't have to 2C everything. You can just play it out and see how things are going. I would say 2C will, will, here probably makes sense. Will, Still going will they 2C? Okay. Uh, or will they 2C uh, rival? Both going for 1C here. 
And I believe it was Randall in my uh, race the other day with him that um, actually was so tired that he went in, he planned on 2 seeing this fight, started with 1C, killed the Doug Trio with just Scald, and then summoned the 2C mid, mid battle and X special on turn 2. Oh, okay. Um, it works, apparently. That's pretty good. Okay, through. Not sure what the defense is like. I guess we'll figure it out. Um, JT has a very good, good defense. <laughs> I mean, headbub. Very good defense, holy. I mean, for headbub, because... I actually could have skipped... Maybe could have skipped the uh, X defense there, actually. Yeah. yeah. Randall did then okay, force sleep on Bruno. You're right. 110 defense for headbub. With, I guess, set 16. Oh. Is that quick attack range or no? Not sure. I don't have the ranges. Uh, six. I think 16 is always going to be in quick attack range. Okay. In that case. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So Headbub's going to have to heal. Uh, JT won't have to heal. So I can save some some time here. Yeah, it's in like 10. 27 is like the maximum quick attack range. Yeah, JT could, one see Naomi, we'll see. There's still a lot that can go wrong. The only JT thing about- could have skipped the X defense there, actually, based on the rolls. Yeah. I've never seen it. Would be nice to see it once. It's very rare, it just must mean very high, pretty high defense, because the defense, yeah. uh, pretty high uh, HP as well. Being at 132 at uh, 49. Yeah, JT's gamble here is gonna be. Like, he could choose to try and make it risky on Naomi, or he could try think, and like, hope that Hedgehog has. I think one C Naomi really isn't, isn't that scary for JT overall. I no, guess he has defense. good defense because of that, yeah. Yeah. The only scary part is a defense drop from Crunch. Yeah. Yeah, it's a choice between being risky and hoping that Hedbop has a little bit more bad luck later. Which could still, like, it could still happen. Because uh, every fight, basically every fight uh, in Victory Road can lose you time. There's still Alexa, there's... Potentially well, we're fight. hoping to not see Alexa. Yeah, hopefully not. Colby. Or Colby. Will he see Colby's skips? We definitely don't want to see Colby. <laughs> yeah, let's avoid that one. If you want to hit one of them, then please hit Alexa, not Colby. We haven't seen Colby this tournament yet, right? I, I believe we have not seen, don't seen him. I think so, yeah. I feel like I've seen it recently, but I don't, I don't think it was on the tourney. I think it was just a random stream. Uh, yes. The last year we did see Colby. In the tourney? Yeah, and she famously hit it. In the tourney? In the tourney. Okay. I remember actually hitting, but not during the tourney race, but okay. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. It wasn't during the tournament. Or, or maybe it wasn't actually, but I'm pretty sure we saw Colby during the tournament. Okay. Don't remember that? Okay. Yeah, actually, I remember vividly, because that's where the Colby skip meme spawned. Yeah, it was a crazy... Uh... I do not remember seeing someone recently Col hitting Colby, uh, but not in the tourney. Someone hit Colby last round, okay. Interesting, did they get through it? <laughs> it's not easy. It is a very, very bad fight. <laughs> Yeah, now that, now that Edit mentions it, I do believe I saw a Colby in the tourney recently. I think the Electrode went from Thunder and Mist or something. It was uh, fine. Yeah, it turns out Electrode with Thunder and being incredibly fast is quite scary for a star. Yeah, I think I think I remember like a Thunder Mist and it was like fine because of it. 
I mean, it's still not a great fight, but yeah. So just... And how many Pokemon is it? <laughs> they have like four Pokemon, I think. Let's see. I think it's one more than... Yeah. Uh, Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, he has four. Electro, Kingler, Pidgeot, and Rhydon. And yeah, we don't speed outspeed 172 speed. It's such a close race. Yeah, it's all just gonna come down to... Yeah. Uh, Caroline so if I'm head I'm definitely too seeing the, the Naomi fight. Even if, it, even if JT one sees, I think. I am JT here, I... Absolutely one C Naomi with this okay. star. Burner in round two, okay, that's unfortunate. I don't remember Burner DNFing, so I'm guessing he still made it work. Which is great to see. Headbob's also going for 1C. Okay, 1C for Headbob. That is interesting. I mean, sometimes, like, even if you are ahead, if you're not ahead enough, you could choose to 1C just because you don't want to get uh, overtaken. He tanked the uh, Thunder? Tank the Thunder? Okay. Okay, this is scary. Okay, got it. Uh, no defense drop, oh, but still... Oh, that was a high roll from the crunch. Okay, got it, let's go. No sucker punch, very nice. Both of them through. Oh, yeah, so that was one of the reasons I was alluding to earlier. Um, I have seen sucker punch far too many times on this fight. Yep. It scares me every time that when I go for 1C here. And I've lost multiple decent runs to it. So doing 1C pays off for Headbob. Yeah, absolutely. Because he can keep the lead. <clears throat> yeah, now the next point, like, well, we have Caroline to the side. Yeah. So the Naomi and... fight was somewhat in our, well, was partly in our control because choosing to 1C is, something, is a choice. <laughs> uh, from this point on, in Victory Road, it's mostly just randomness. There's not really much yep. in terms of variance. Yeah, this this, hip, this hypno does hypno have hypnosis, decides. it just doesn't like to use Wait, it Wait, maybe GT often. can Hydro Pump this. Um, I think it's, it's not, not a very good range, range, but maybe it is a range. I don't remember what the special was. Okay, going for the standard. It wasn't 140, which is, I think... When you want to start is considering it. When you want to risk it, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's an 8 out of 16. Oh, that missed the range. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that's I, I... a minimum roll there. Yeah. He absolutely should be able to that's hit the Thunderbolt 235 spit attack. Okay, no I've never priority. I've seen that live at that special. I think JT was wondering there if there was any priority moves there. That there has are. to be like two minerals, basically. And that's well, the first attack. one was like way over half. Yeah, exactly. This was like fifty-three percent or something. So, like, consider we're going for it at one twenty-five plus, like. Yeah. And you're yeah. supposed to still do table twice if the first one does more than half. Yeah. So that's really unfortunate. Yeah, I'll be honest, I've, I've had problems with that as well in the past, so... I just went... I, I just switched to Skull T-Bolt. Yes, you have a chance for a burn, Time but... for Headbob's Alexa skip. Oh my god! Oh, that was very oh much my god. not safe! Bet, better or worse than Cerulean skip, or... or uh... <laughs> I don't know. That's... Probably that's, scarier than this. Yeah, that was skip. scarier, I think. Oh, there's Because um, there's no way that was planned. <laughs> I don't think you planned to look at Alexa again after doing the skip. 97.7 <laughs> to 2 hit at 135. That's crazy. Okay, frozen, frozen solid, which means skull times 2. 
Okay, so out of the fight. Not too bad. Just lose the turn. Hey, I hope JT and doesn't have left or anything. Um. You make I thought probably turn. has to heal though. And there's the sleep anyway. Ooh. Ice beam. I freeze though. Oh, Actually, hold on. Headbutt is in the 60s, so it's probably still fine to not heal for power whip. Uh, what defense did he have again? One. It was one one x, I think. So if it's high 60s, he'll sense. be fine. Yeah, I think so. JT definitely doesn't have to. So I guess they both. Miss yeah, just gonna they heal. both, lo they both lost one turn, right? I know Headbub lost one uh, turn. JT yeah. lost two. Okay, JT lost two. Because of that Hypno arrow as well. Well, yeah, um, I meant just on, just on Caroline, yeah. Okay, so pretty on even Caroline, fight, was one turn. Yeah. but Headbub has to do the extra menu. Uh, or I guess chose to do the extra menu, I'm not sure if he actually had to, but... I think he did. Okay, speaking to Rapidash it's not ideal. But that's okay. Yeah, that's probably like just a slipped finger or something. Yeah. Now both runners pushing a boulder. This is even, this part is even sillier when you have multiple people doing it at the same time. Makes it better, We're right? Just yeah. Headbop is spending... trying to push the rock into JT's screen. <laughs> You're spending half a minute pushing a rock. That's what it is, you have to press A every single time. Not going for accidental uh, skip here on Dawson. It sounds like it would have been fine, yeah. With the power up. Uh, GT has to heal uh, before. 52. Before Lord. Uh, I think he'd maybe dead that upper jet. With his HP before. I think in those circumstances, I would still go for it and. and just heal on the Blastoise. Because there's a chance that Power Whip just doesn't do enough or misses. Yeah, that's very true. I don't know. Not even sure if Blastoise actually goes for Echo Jet that often. It should, but. I don't know, you're not normally in the situation. Yeah, exactly. For it that's... To, but I expect it, at this point there's Smart AI on every trainer. Yeah, that there's like. Well, there faint. should be. What, so you say they use a priority move that can kill? Yeah, imagine. That will happen in this part of the game? Imagine. Yeah, Faint yet. has a very strange situation with it in that it's also designed to break through Protect. I think that messes with the with the um, smart AI. Yeah, Etiquette could be onto something. Yeah, Might I for it. expect so. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Alright, on to E4. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Headbob not healing. Uh, yeah, I don't think he needs to heal. He's about, he gets... 90, uh, about uh, what, 80 or so? I think. Yeah, something like that. So probably can. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, he should have. I don't know if he's going for plus 4 or plus 6. Okay, JT, full send. <laughs> Maybe forced. Maybe forced to go for plus 4 if he wants to keep a. Size a uh, nice uh, lead here. Me <clears throat> I expect he'll probably deposit after this if yeah. he has to heal uh, for Bruno. Yeah, exactly. So Otherwise, if you're not healing, uh, then Agatha. if you're not healing, then there's no point in depositing. Uh, He's called it. Uh, it's... Okay, now he has to heal. Um, he has to heal here because of yeah. um, Ice Shard. Yeah. That's Which it didn't go for. So that's two turns. 
Yeah, because JT can just do plus four. Shouldn't have any problems yeah, no. with it. Yeah, you I think that still Lapis. has to go for the. Do they both have to go for Hydro Punch on the Jinx? Yes. JT probably has a reason. JT, range. I think, has a 12 or 13 out of 16. Yeah. I don't know if he quite got 139. I think he's 138. Hydro Pump? Here we go. So, Headbob making a little mistake there at the beginning, but still making it through okay. Let's see. I don't think. Yeah, 138, I don't think. 138 anyone... means a 12 out of 16 scold. Okay, we hit the pump anyway. I, I don't close. think anyone's ult had that, that Hydro Pump can miss. Because it he hasn't, hasn't missed yet. Yeah. Yeah. They're one poke apart. So it is very close. Um, it shouldn't really think change of them much. I not to heal for Bruno either. Yeah. So it shouldn't really change much. None of them are low enough to uh, worry about the, the move that definitely exists. Yep. It shouldn't change much on Bruno. So Agatha is the next spot where things could go either way. Uh, we'll there see if Headwell decides to. To one C or not? Uh, JT is committing to one C from the looks of it. Uh, Headbob yeah. still didn't like. If Headbob goes for for two C, the only way he wins this is uh, if JT definitely gonna be uh, if JT dies somewhere. Yeah. So might have to one C. I think mean, they both have the full restore as well. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think at this point they probably have to full send. Yeah, and it will be like, how does the Agatha fight go? And after that, like, how will, uh, how will Lance or Champion behave? Yeah, it could come down to a uh, uh, Path of Legends in the right, on the right turn. That too, yeah. 140 special for JT at the moment. I wish you see has guaranteed the Dragonite range. Yeah. Headbob is probably not going to be guaranteed, but very close, I think. So. I think it might be at with his 53 level up. Otherwise, it'll be at like a maybe a 14 or 15, not yeah. 16. It's either guaranteed or very close. Yeah, no faint chances today, unfortunately. Yeah, so full sanding as expected. So going for the 1C. Uh, it is a slightly longer menu here for Headbob as well, because JT already deposited. Yeah, JT does have to heal uh, here. JT but... did not heal. Uh, didn't heal? Oh no. Uh... I think JT might have okay. just forgotten since he saw Headbob depositing. He might have realized that. Now. <laughs> um, to Jet. So. Power of Love? I think it might be still fine. Because he had a lot of health still, I think. Or did he take uh, a Earthquake? Oh, he took a Earthquake, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. That's. Okay. Glare, okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. No! I probably would just full restore. Yeah, we just full honest. restore and hope for power of love. No, dude. Ah. Uh, oh no. GG's. Yeah, I would have just full restored after no, the dude. glare. Yeah. I think the first turn was correct. Still, probably just try and bank on getting glare or whatever. That's so sad. Yeah, or even just hyper potion. Well, GG JT. It was a really good run and a really good race, I would say. Yeah, it was Just super very close. Fortunate. Yeah, very close the entire way for all of them. Yeah, now Headbob should only have to finish. To win. He can in fact just uh, chuck a uh, Pokemon back into the party and just 
yeah. cruise through with 2C for the rest of the fights if he wants to. Exactly. He yeah, does have to finish. to finish. And please finish, otherwise we're gonna mess up the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> We are joined by JT. What's up? What's up, JT? <laughs> GG's, I'm GGs. sorry. Thanks. Oh, it's alright. I just for completely forgot to heal. And yeah, difficult situation. I thought maybe I could live a crunch well. there, but it's alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah after like your Geo Friday. I just, uh, I misread the chart. I thought my defense was like 118, and I just like completely misread the Carbot Crunch Except, damage on there. Yeah. Yeah. No situation you're used to getting into either. Yeah, true. Very good race though, for the most part. That was a lot of fun. It was. It was very close between all of you. Yeah. Yeah, you had the lower catch count in the beginning. Yeah, it was kind of funny because the game kept like, uh, like making things happen. Like I, like I, didn't do the teleport back to the lab, and then. Uh, and so I lost 30 seconds, but then Headbop didn't get Rhyhorn, so he lost 30 seconds. And so it was like, the game kept going like back and forth with both of us like that, it felt like, for the whole time. Yeah, It's like one of us will take a time loss, and then the other one will take a time loss it's for something else. And yeah, missing the 97% range to uh, two-shot the Hypno in Dude, uh, Victory that's Road. Crazy. That's that's like a 20% range, let's be real. I miss it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it more often than not. It's ridiculous. Yeah, is, is Headpop aware that you forfeited? Because he's just going for it. Oh yeah, maybe he just... Yeah. Uh, if he just I wants mean, to go for it, go for it. Lance is relatively okay. I mean, he had to, like a crit chance there. And he might be like, if I die, I can still finish again. or whatever. Um, so it might have been like, yeah, I don't really want to do it yet. I do hope he brings in Buck because I don't want to see the E4 again. <laughs> Yeah, it hits the Dragonite range. It was a 15 out of 16. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I guess it's not risky when you know you, you won. Just have to finish. Mm. Some very strong, uh, very strong stars. Yeah. Actually, uh, well, the, the two that we know about. Yeah. It's actually funny, yeah, JT. I was, were... I was talking about you maybe trying to go for Hydro Pump on the Hypno. <laughs> And then you couldn't yeah, even yeah, two so shot sorry, with, yeah. the, with the T bolt. <laughs> uh, I didn't have a good enough range on it. Yeah, I, I didn't have any any range on it. Uh, it would have been a range. I think it would have been, 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 been like a, a two, or two or three and sixteen yeah, or something probably. like that. You were one thirty six. I was one thirty five at the time. Oh, okay. So yeah, three out of sixteen. Yeah. Head drop is bringing Pikachu to this fight. Yes, I like it. I disagree. Fundamentally. Well, kill that Pikachu, the yellow red. It's a bit of a problem as well. Like, on the one hand, I like to see Pika die here. On the other hand, Pika goes into all of me. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you feel about your run, JT, in general? Uh, I felt pretty good about it. I was like... For most of the run, I was like consistently 30 seconds behind because of not taking the the lab teleport at the beginning, but yeah. um, your early game was in was incredible. Yeah, your early game was really solid. I was like, I yeah, was, I, don't know. I was really saying good. like you were exiting Moon, and I was like, you know, it's like thirty seconds behind where I would want to be on a good run, and then I reminded myself that oh yeah, you, you missed the yeah right. The I, don't, I don't know. Person. It was a it was a fine run. Like nothing really went wrong. Like I got burned in a in tunnel by the Vulpix. Um, but that was the only thing I can really think of that went wrong. Otherwise, it was just like. Not really great menuing and all that kind of stuff, and got put to sleep by Jinx and Victory Road. But yeah, otherwise, like it's it's you know all I really wanted was a run that wasn't garbage, and and this was definitely a run that wasn't garbage. So I'm 
yeah. so I'm happy about that. I wish I could have finished, but I'm I'm still happy that like I wasn't fighting against the game the whole time like I was my first two races. Yeah, GG's to headbutt. And it's crazy how close like all three of us were. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. But still, like through hideouts, you were all like within a minute of each other. And then at uh, the tower, Jesse and James Yakso ran into some problems. Right. Yeah, I saw that. And lost like a minute or a minute and a half there. And yeah, then they unfortunately didn't bring uh, Growlithe into the party before entering that fight. Which optional did they hit? Uh, uh, the the scientist spinner one. in base basement of mansion. Oh right, right by the healing. He has an yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He has an electabuzz, uh, which outspeeds you and can just one shot you. Right. Okay. I think, or maybe it's just that plus two psychic doesn't kill it. Either way, you, you're generally taking a hit from it. Yeah. Well, GG head bob. Good run. Yeah. Yeah. The 305 for tournament race. While hitting take a spinner those. on in Koga's gym. That's. Yeah. That was pretty funny. It's not even a spinner, it's just. Yeah, it's not a spinner, an optional. But yeah. It was only two turns, but. Yeah. It did try to double protect, which is, would have been it, funny. It did it attempt did it, yeah. Yeah, but with like how the rest of this went, like I'm not sure you would have been able to catch up there, JT. Yeah, no, I probably would have stayed like exactly the same amount behind if I if everything went well. Well, I yeah. went for two C here on champ, so like it would have been forced to do one C, I guess. Yeah, that would have been a little more, a little more spicy, but um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there was it was it was very very close, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Sure. Uh, GG's head bob. GG's head bob. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you won? The worst part is I literally might not even advance. Why not? You should get three points here, which means you get what eight? Yeah, eight, there's an yeah. eight. There's there was potentially an eight that doesn't advance though. Is there how? And I and I there might is, have the worst yeah. average. There's no way. I didn't even know it was. Uh, I'm just still so frustrated at myself for the the Koga gym optional. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, I always just hug the walls everywhere. You got through that so fast, though. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I was, was like, dang, hook. dang, an optional. Like, I I can get ahead, and then you like were still ahead of me coming out of it. I mean, I also got <laughs> no protects on Koga. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Too. So yeah, I got two. I think. Yeah, but I got I got yeah, double poisoned, so I did do that, whatever, but No, I know, but like I think depending on the people that get eight points, I may have a worse average if, than them. If I get eight, then I'm the one dropped. Because I have a DNF, so Yeah, it really just depends. I, w I wish I was the last race because I would be, be I'd be able to make my decisions a lot more clearly here. Ooh. But Yeah. I figured I just want I just wanted to go for broke as much as I like felt comfortable doing because I it's either like I have to you know just get eight points in which case dying d four is like fine because I already win the race or I just try and go for the best time I can and hope my average is good enough that was my mentality yeah your your worst average will get dropped so it's only your three best runs yeah again but I think I think like you know the there could be like a 304 average that is competing for last. This is going to be like a low 305, I think. So we'll see, but I don't feel comfortable just yet. GG is on the race. J Tattle, that was on the edge of my seat the entire time. Yeah, yeah, GG. That was, that was a really fun race. It was really good. I'm sorry I didn't finish it. I just completely forgot to heal before Agatha. <laughs> yeah, really. Really pushing each other to to, to go riskier it was right. not not too happy about it, but like yeah, he's 
I think we both He's... did Risky Naomi. We both did the Hydro Pump Samuel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, that was right. that was so much fun. That was the most fun I've had in a race, I think, uh, this tournament for sure. Yeah. I agree, honestly. I, I think, yeah, I don't think I've had a race that was closer than this one. Yeah, I can't believe how close it was, but even even with like all three of us when uh when Yaxo was still in it, like I can't believe how close all three of us were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even throughout like the mid game was just like you know, we were all separated by like one poke, but like about thirty seconds, so it was like Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything you want to mention that wasn't already said about the runs? I hate this game. So true. And I don't. I'm so happy I don't have to play it anymore. You're gonna love this game tomorrow. <laughs> until next year. <laughs> until next year. Yeah. Until tomorrow. Until I run AOP tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have two more races. We have. They're both on Saturday, July thirteenth. We have Tucker versus Randall versus Aspect. Who's that? Who's that? I'm thinking I... some Aussie or something. I don't know. How are you feeling about the race aspect? I don't know. I haven't touched Let's Go much recently. I've sort of been messing around with BDSP, really. So mm. I've got to that is a choice. do some practice races over the next few days. I think this should be a pretty and, close um, race. Hopefully, be okay. I think it's going to be a very close race. Yeah. Yeah. Time is a little unfortunate, but that's what you get with Australians and Americans trying to schedule something. Um, it's yeah. at nine AM Eastern, so hopefully people will be up to watch it. Um, should definitely be there. It's it's going to be fun. And yeah, then we have one last race, which is New Amber versus Advocate versus myself at one thirty PM. Uh, so it should, it should still be on the main channel as well. Um, and that'll be the re the last race. And then we'll have the draws, I guess, at some point afterwards uh, for the semifinals. And we get wheels for that. Yes, yes the dude. wheels will return. The yes. wheels are back. <laughs> no wheel, no watch. So true. Wait, you didn't like the slots? The slots were a nice slots, change, they... but I think the wheels are slots were good, but the wheels are OG. The wheels yeah. iconic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's why we have the tournaments in the first place. That's right. <laughs> yeah. The only reason. Yep. All right. Uh, with that, I guess we can sign off. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you on Saturday.